Settings, start video transmission. The green light is on 286 seconds. So does that mean I'm on? So you're, yeah, you're going. Okay, how do I close this, the chat box that comes up in OBS? There's a little arrow on the top in between like your screen and my chat box. Little arrow that points to the right or the left. I don't. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. Okay, great. Thanks, bud. I think hopefully I'm streaming. We'll find out in five minutes. Thanks for your help. Okay, I'll be watching. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Morning, everybody. Oh boy. Oh my God. I want to stream right on time. We're a little bit late. Uh, stuff going on all the time with this stuff. I guess because I haven't used it in a few days. I have to restart the computer. And then when I did, the stream key was all a mess. Let me get the table up so you can see what the hell I'm doing here. Nope, not that one. Let's go with this. There we go. There's Dean eggs. There's the table. Let's put the info up. Info tab. Nope, not that one. There we go. Done. Is the table goofy or is it okay? Looks okay. All right, let's get the chat back up. Where it needs to go. Oh, wait, can I move this whole thing? Yep. There we go. I'm starting to fucking figure this shit out. I'm so not tech savvy, guys. I go on tilt. You should hear me. It's bad. Like, I have temper, as we all know, right? So, like, I can't write this shit. Like that, I lose it, you know? Let's see if I can do a snap real, real easy. Real quick. Do a snap. Okay. What's up, Adam Owen? Ronnie Sullivan says, saying hello. I was steaming when I saw your snap. I was busy freaking trying to figure out how I'm going to do the stream thing. But we got the stream ready to go. Let's do this. Long day ahead. Good luck, players. Now we're going to watch this. See if this worked okay. I think I got my snap cam figured out. See if the mic is on. What's up, Adam Owen? Ronnie yep. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to see the snap cam right off the bat. Do, do. Nope. No humming. <laughs> I was listening to it on the way in, so let's see. If it shows up any second now. So Adam Owen, Ronnie Sullivan said the same. I was streaming when I saw your snap. I was busy trying to figure out how to do the stream thing, but we got the stream ready to go. Let's do this. Long day ahead. Good luck, players. He he he. So you can do that. You can say whatever the hell you want, you know, and Whatever. If you don't want to see somebody's stuff, you can block them so that they don't. Uh... So we're going to try really hard in this tournament. Let me see. What am I looking at? Betting. Da -da 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 -da. Squeeze. Off for now. Okay. Maybe put it back on later. Do -do. <clears throat> all right. Should know in about a minute and a half if you all are with me. Let's hope you are. And then I will open up the chat table over here. So man, little tech issues this morning, but we're in for the long haul. We got a full long day of poker starting very deep at our table. We know Adam Owen. He sent us a snap before we were live. There was a Ronnie Sullivan video that I tweeted this morning. If you guys are snooker fans or whatever, he's like, Amazing, he's like the best, right? But he's also, I don't know, had some issues or whatever. So he said some shit like 20 years ago in this video. And I, and I tweeted it because I'm like, I wonder, if, I mean, obviously I know people would be offended by it, but like he, uh, he just went goofy. But it was like my first reaction was laugh my ass off, you know? And then this, realize this guy gives no shits, zero fucks whatsoever. He's, uh, does not, does not care. I remember he did something a while back when he was playing snooker where like, uh, he was about to run a perfect game, which is 147 points, but there was no prize associated with it. So he didn't even just, he's like, okay, he won the game. He's like, fuck it. I'm not even going to do it because there's no surprise. He was, it was like his way of protesting kind of a thing that the organizers didn't put up money. Yeah, he uh, beats to the, what's that? Sound of his own drum. You know, it was, I don't know. It was, I get it. People would be offended by it and I see why, but like, it was also funny. It could be funny too. <clears throat> All right, so we got one second left. Should be live. I figured I'd tell you. What am I scared? That's me. Let's see. Let's find myself. Oh, I don't 
see it. Do not see it up there yet. Alright, let me check Twitter. Twitter, I believe, yeah. Hey, what's up, Scott Vegas? Okay, how do I close? All right, so we're not up on YouTube just yet. Oh, yes, we are. Where's my chat? Give me a moment here while I figure this out. All right, I see you guys all on there. Oh, there we go. Showed up. I did, the stream key was all a mess. Let me get the table. Mute that. Good to go, good to go, yeah. So I'm gonna make that bigger. All right, so we're gonna play some real poker today, y'all. This is, this is the real big time. This is the 5,000, Pastora from Turkey, $5,000 main event heat. Now, there is no re-entry in this specific heat, but you, we will have the opportunity to play again and again, regardless of how we finish today. Um, but ideally, we'd like to get off to a fantastic start, only play the one day, and bag, you know, average stack or better, and go from there. All right, we'll check in with the chat here and there. What's up, Ali Mizbani on Facebook? Joe LaFournier. Oh, well, that's an odd question. Susan Curran, Dallas, Texas in the house. Yeehaw! I think, right? Is that okay to say? Yeehaw? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, after that. So, we haven't streamed in a little bit y'all but uh, we're back at it had a eventful weekend we've got our 27th cash in the books I played a PLO hand that genuinely pissed me off I don't know what this guy was doing for those of you that don't really understand PLO you, this, this should still make sense to you for those that do play PLO this is ridiculous this hand <laughs> it's so s silly um, it's a hand where let me move some shit around here Oops. Okay. It is a hand where I raise the button and I have in polyminal, I have ace, king, deuce, four, double suited, hearts and diamonds. I have the ace high hearts and, or whatever. I have ace high diamonds and king high hearts. I raise the button to two big blinds. Small blind makes it seven. He's got 30 back and I've got about 30 back. 30 big blinds. It's plenty. Now the flop comes great for me. It comes ace, three, six, with two hearts. So I have the gut shot straight five. I have the nut flush draw, and I have aces with the king kicker. So he bets the entire pot, which is really strange, right? He bets 15 into 15. I'm like, okay, well, let's go. So I raise him 15 more, and he calls, and I'm expecting to see some kind of a big hand. He has king, king, 10, eight, okay? Just no hearts in his hand, just complete rubbish. Like makes no sense whatsoever that he would just blow off 30 big blinds. So I'm 96% favorite in this spot. I'm gonna check back one more time. I'm 96% favorite, but he gets it in. The turn card's a 10, which is not a good card because now he can catch a queen, right? For the gut shot, I think. Oh no, it was a jack, I guess. Yeah, so he could catch a queen. Or yeah, yeah, because he had king 10. All right, we're gonna fold that. Um, and then the river card comes uh, a king. That's not a heart because I have the king heart. So like, he hits the king. It was just so dirty, it did me dirty. Then I made it deep again in the, um, $840 super turbo bounty came 95th out of like, I don't know, two, 3,000. Uh, in that one, everyone folded to me in the small blind and I went all in with 15, 14 bigs, 13.8 bigs, standard with king 10 suited. Nothing new, nothing else makes sense. Big blind calls with ace three and we whiff and such is life. Uh, what was the other one we played? Oh man, I made the money also in the, uh, the day two of the uh, blah, 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 what was it? The mini main, I had a really bad start. Super aggro player at my table messing me, messing me up. And then, uh, what happened in that one? I lost, 
I made the money though. And then after that, nothing. So yeah, deep runs abound. 27 caches is insane for World Series of Poker. It's like, I mean, I know it's online and things are different, but you know, when you pay 15% of the field and I'm playing all the no limits and there's re-entry, I'm just gonna always cash for like at least 20 times. So, so is it a record? I mean, will it be a record? Probably, but it's different, you know, asterisk record because it's online. Started on the WSOP site, moved over to, moved over to GG Poker. All right, some exciting news coming your way from GG Poker. The next little bit, I will announce said news. In addition to that, as many of you have asked to know, I have a, after the World Series of Poker, I'm going to take a few days, or like a, at least a, you know, a week to relax and get situated or whatever. And then I'll probably need a couple weeks of studying Heads Up No Limit Hold'em, which is not something I studied since 2010-11 when I played against Victor Blom. So he was with this, you know, he was with my previous company, we both were, and they thought, okay, well, let's have them play heads up. And I'm like, are you crazy? This guy's like the best, and you want me to play him heads up? So at the time I had, uh, who did I have? Tom Marchese, and uh, it's sad to say, but he just passed away. Richard Lindaker. They came over and they really kind of helped me with, at the time, some theory on heads up poker. And the first match against Isildur, he ran like unbelievable. I mean, he's better than me, but still, like, he ran so good, it's, it was foolish. Like, there was a hand where I had, like, jack seven of hearts, and he had jacks, and the flop was, like, ten four deuce of hearts. So I have the flush against the pair of jacks, and it came, like, five five. So he, he made a full house. He came, the board put trips on board. So anyway. So, um, so anyway, the first time I ended up losing the whole 150000 and there was a plan to do the rematch, right? And the rematch... Uh, would happen a week later and I was like all right I'm gonna do my best and uh he had me again down like almost the entire thing right off the bat this time I was able to claw back and win 28,000 I was very proud of how I played and I was very proud of the accomplishment even though I was down money on it you know as most people would expect I was proud of the effort that I put in so hopefully in this case um I guess in a somewhat similar I mean the difference then is that, like it was friendly like I like Victor Blom we were always good buddies we always liked it so it was more like fun competition this is going to be a little different because there's uh no love lost i guess you could say and uh who knows that might make it more interesting could make it less you know we'll see how it rolls out and how it all plays but like i said i'm going to do my best i said on the podcast i'm like hey listen once you say you're going to do it you got to do it because after i'm like i'm kind of like do i really want to do this you know because it's like it's you know a decent amount of like work when you've never played you know this format in 10 years and uh you know you don't want to like get your ass completely handed to you and want to make it like a go to distance as Rocky would say. So I'm going to have to... So one thing I learned so far is that with, when you have aces or kings or even ace-king and the guy raises when your plan has up, you should re-raise him. So I'm going to do that. And outside of that, you know, got a long way to go. Uh, Jeffrey Haverty, are you friends with Brad Booth and have you heard he's okay? Guys, if you've seen Brad Booth or you know Brad Booth, Yukon Brad, let me see if I can find a picture of you. He is... Hold on. Um, Brad Booth, let me find a picture because he's missing guys and Brad is a free-spirited guy it could be a lot of things I mean he could be in you know we don't know let me see images some recent images Let's see if you guys can see it's Brad Booth not a bad the best picture of him Let's see there's a newer one let me find it. I want if I want I want you to see like a newer picture just in case you've seen him or Alright, All right, so here it is. These are some more recent picture of Brad. See that okay? Alright, so what happened was he was last seen 
on July 13th, so we're talking over a month now, uh, he was going camping for a few days in Reno, Nevada. Reno, Nevada. Uh, his vehicle is still missing. It's a silver 2002 Toyota Tacoma truck with Nevada license plate 601 PMR. And uh, nobody's heard from him. Family, nothing like that. I'm hoping he's just being an asshole and just, you know, wanted to unplug from the world for a little bit and he's doing fine, but I have a fear and a concern that it's not the case. So very, very sad news to hear that Brad is missing. His family's worried sick about him. Um, so if you know anything, I mean, what did it say to do? Yeah, reach out to the Reno Police Department. Detective Tazy Kiofalo. Number 775-334-2175. You can find this. I mean, you can, if, yeah, if you know something. It's crazy. I, li I really like that guy. He's such a good dude. Like, I remember when I went to Vancouver um, for a bit, and I was just there, and he, like, invited me over to a party of his with all of his friends, and they, he and everybody made me feel like I was part of the crew. It was really, really great. He's a good people person. When it came to gambling, he was always a wild man. I, you guys remember on High Stakes Poker, there was a hand where he had, uh, like, deuce five against Phil Ivey, who had two kings. Or something, it two nut and the flop came like three cards, whatever. And Phil bet, and he just said, "Screw it, all in 300k." So he had that gear about him. So no idea what's going on with Brad. All right, here we are sitting on. Notice again, if you're new to watching the stream, I sit, I have my stack in um, number of big blinds. So that's a we have 48k. But I like to put the big blinds. It's just a lot easier. We do that. Oh, you can't see my stack. All right, hold on. All right, see if that fixes it. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. Hold on a minute. All right, let me make this a little smaller. <laughs> Sorry, let me see here. You guys can't see my things. Let me see if I minimize this a little bit. That help? Should. I'm really bad at this. Hold on, give me a moment. Make this bit. Oh God, why does it always do that? I have just no patience for this stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, let me drag you. There we go. How about now? There we go. That should do it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Couldn't see my stack. You should be able to. Now that I've fixed it, 250 big blinds is the starting stack. All right, we are playing today, I believe, 15 levels. Let me check, double check if that's true. Play 15 levels, and they're 30-minute levels, okay? So very slow structure. Get to play very deep. Mm-hmm. Hopefully table's fixed, I got it. All right, who do I know at this table? Let's take a look. Well, we know Adam Owen. He is Adam Owen. 17K in winnings on here. Clearly hasn't played a ton. JPC123, 36K in winnings on here. Vyacheslav Buligun, 1.5 million. Ooh. Baller. Pastoral, $200. Glassman, 60 bucks. Wow. Madoc, 15K. Oyster from Mexico, he's got 7K. Okay. So we know Adam Owen. This guy clearly is a, some kind of a pro. I mean, most likely he's playing real name as well. You'll notice on GG Poker, a lot of people who win a lot of money or pros or whatever end up uh, having to use their real name. Just all designed to make things uh, cleaner. Yeah, I know. Huh. Why is my VPIP so low? Because I've only played one hand, which was, you guys remember we defended, oh man, look at that flop. We defended king queen here. If I would have defended, I would have flopped top pair and a flush draw. 
But against an early position raise and a call, like queen six off just doesn't, doesn't hit a lot of flops and make me go, ooh, this one's a good one, but like, so what? I mean, I can't exactly play it with a lot of chutzpah. Any stories about playing with Mike Postel? No, I never, never played with him. Nope. Let me see if this does anything. Oh, shit, can't do that. All right, I guess I'll play with a tiny screen. What you want? All right, I got you. I got you, people. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? To resize twice. Let me see. Because my screen right now is too tiny for me. I need a bigger screen. But when I do bigger screen, then that happens, right? So what, how do I fix that? <laughs> I can't. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Not that small. Oh, my God. What happened there? Tiny, tiny screen. Let me see if this works. Let's see. All right, what do we got? 10-7 in the small. We're gonna limp in. Bear with me while I get this. There we go. Let's see if this helps. Oh God, I hate when this happens. Okay, go like that. And now broaden it out, nice and big. Okay, and let's see what happens when I go like this. Oh, nope. Should have done it the other way. All right, so we got middle pair, limp pot. This is a hand we can check. Mm -hmm. So he's betting pretty big. 2.3 into 3. Our hand's way too good to just fold right now, but it's a little bit concerning. He could just have a gut shot, something like a 9 or a jack, and he's just putting maximum pressure. 7.5. He gets big here. That puts us in a tough spot. Hmm. Out of position, middle pair. It could have us destroyed here with queen eight, queen four, ten four. All right, buddy. I'm just gonna make a note on him. I'm gonna make a note. See what we would have came. What would have came? Gotta make a note on Glassman. I'm gonna be making a lot more notes today. It's the 5K. I really want to focus in on my opponents and what they're doing. Fold that one. All right. Just for a second, till I make that bigger. All right, that's working. Okay. Hello. I think I did it. Okay, great. Now I can actually see my cards. <laughs> I have, uh, I mean, when I was about 35, 36, the eyes started to go a little bit. I remember I was playing online in London, playing and I was playing a Badoogie event. All right, we're gonna take advantage of our image early stages. We're gonna up this one to 9.2 in position. So this is a good spot. Like he's not gonna four bet that often. Pastoral isn't, and we go. Oh, wow, we got a call from Madoc. That's an interesting spot. Like normally when someone calls there, they would have tens, jacks, nines, or like ace queen. But I'm not so sure with this player because we don't know this player. We will just note the wow, oyster call too. All right, now we have the double gutter. So we need a six or a 10. A six ball would be beautiful right now. With both players calling, you have to assume their ranges are pretty good. They may be hitting this flop a lot more than us. So this is a spot where we're gonna take the free card 
and hope to win a big one where we hit on the turn. We also got backdoor hearts. There's the six, genius. Now, hopefully one of these guys bets. Come on, Maddock, have three jacks, I don't mind. I ain't scared. Good. Oh boy, he does. He might have a big hand. We're not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna raise to 42. It's a big pot. Yeah, I don't know this player. He might just be like, not good. He might have tens. So maybe this is bad. Not really sure. I feel like it's never really that wrong on this spot to just raise when you have the absolute nuts. But he's gonna he's gonna have to worry now that I have three jacks, right? Maybe he has the three jacks. I don't know if I like the way I played this one. I think maybe I should just call the turn in case he does have tens or nines or something. Oh, he's re-raising? Okay. So now we can have, we can just get in against the set all day. All right, and we just hope it holds. Be pretty sick. What are you gonna do, Matic? Did you really min click without a set? Very strange. Very strange, but I'll take it. He, that's a really weird play. Show him a nine. Nine of hearts. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell him something. So I'm gonna Snapchat him. Well, Maddox. I was hoping you had three jacks. That tells you what I had. I had the nuts. And I thought maybe we'd get it in. So you made a good fold there, Maddox. Good fold. Nine, seven hearts. Promise. Okay, snap cam. Recorded. Snap cam. Sent. So we started with 50K. Now we're up to 65. Man, I just, I wonder. Once he re-raises, right? You know what? Actually, in a tournament, if that was like my only bullet, I think calling was better. Because then if I can just see if the board pairs, and I, I don't even have to necessarily pay it off that deep. Well, Matt, I was hoping you had three jacks. That told you I had. I had none. I thought maybe you'd get it in. You made a good pull there, Matt. Good pull. Nine, seven hearts. Promise. All right, we'll tell them nice play. Cool. All right, so we're sitting on 218 bigs. The blinds just went up, 30-minute levels, as I said. It's a deep one. It's a pretty damn good start, huh? We got a note on Glassman. All right, we got to make a note on Matic. All right. I'm not going to share my notes, but basically I'm just going to... What the notes will entail is kind of the results of the hand. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that on key hands, yo. Salud Daniela, spus Liviu Ion. Merci, mul spus multa bafta. Merci frumos. Jack Nimby, f this boring crap. <laughs> Hey, good news is you got a lot of other things you can watch. But thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, he said boring crap right before he saw the seven to nine of hearts hand. Here it comes for y'all. Keith, what oops, are you able to see the hand history during or after the tournament? Yep. Yep. You got this button right up here. We got hand history. You can't see them because I only have one window capture on um, while I'm doing streaming. Exquisite junk, can you give us an example of the kind of notes you make on players? Well, I mean, this one's very simple, right? So I just put small blind, big blind. He bet 2.3 from big blind on queen 10-8. I 
and 5.6 into 7.5 on, on a four turn. So that's just a, a little note for sizing. That's a little bit, anything out of the ordinary, which is definitely a little bit out, out of the ordinary. And then for here, for Maddock, the note was simple. I three bet, he calls, calls from small, which is different. And then he bet 15, and I just put the, the details of the hand for the most part. I do make more detailed notes where I'll have like, cause you don't have to read all that and I'll put a header, right? Where I might put like, you know, river bluff or like weak check or whatever. And then, you know, underneath kind of the more detailed explanation. Hmm. Probably means I'll do a lot. I mean, normally when I do these things, I talk like nonstop. I'm going to take some breaks today on the talking and just kind of make some notes. Focus on the action. We got Maddox limping right now. So I'm gonna make some guesstimations. Now, a lot of really top players do limp occasionally. I'm not so sure based on the hand that we saw that Maddox you know, falls in that category. So often when you when you usually when you see someone limp, you err towards thinking that they're not a pro. Okay? Because you don't see them do that that often. Once you know a player is really, really good and they limp sometimes, you, you can adjust. But when I typically see someone limp, I'm going to note that and Put another note on Matic. Another note here. This is the main event, y'all. We've only got so so. It's interesting. There's 62 players registered right now. We're sitting in 11 of the 62. But this is a heat event. 25 million dollar guarantee. I mean, it's insane, guys. When Gigi told me they're going to do a 25 million guarantee, I was like. $25 million? That's insane. The largest guarantee in the history of online poker. At 5K a pop, and when you restrict the number of entries people can do to three, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Tough one. Yeah. That was an interesting hand, that 9-7 of hearts, huh? So our VPIP still very low at 11. We've got a king-queen here against an early position raise from a player who's also playing pretty tight. This is not a slam dunk. I mean, I just let you go all three ways here with this hand. I, 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 I'm actually going to do something insane. Like, truly insane. And, that fo and that's bold. So, when you're in the big blind, you're getting much better price. In the small blind, you run the risk of the big blind, like, you know, squeezing. You also have a hand that... Uh, could be dominated, like you know, ace, queen, king, queen, or sorry, there's my king. Ace, king, ace, queen, uh, aces, kings, queens. And when you do hit the flop with a hand like that, this deep, out of position, you never really, it's very very rare where you can ever take the lead or feel comfortable being very aggressive with it. So I'm, I, I typically play a little bit tighter out of position in the small line than I would in the big. So this is a spot where, look, if we, if we call with the king, queen, I mean, I'm just check calling, right? He's betting pretty big. So then what do I do in the turn if he bets again? Call, and then what do I do in the river when he bets big again? Just fold, call, you know, it's tough. So in the, and typically in the early stages, the types of hands that I like to be more speculative with are hands that can make straights and flushes because we're really, really deep. Kind of like the seven nine of hearts hand, right? Where I three bet that one. I'm gonna fold this king four. There is 61 registered now, or 62, but don't kid yourself that there was 66 to start and there's no re-entry in this one. But um, I would imagine there'll probably be anywhere from two to 300 by the time it's over. Don't forget, it's a very deep structure. Late reg is open until, let me see, what does it say? Re late reg is open for another f over four hours. Right? 61, 20, yep. Like four hours, 20 minutes. Oh shit. No, never mind. You're good. Whoa.
Yeah, maybe I should have just called with that 9-7. Right? What if he just was like buck wild going crazy jamming river with nothing? Yeah, could be. We will never know unless Maddox decides to sh tell me what he had, which doesn't seem likely. So again, this is a 5K and it does have two re-entries, so this isn't the only shot we have, but we're going to play it like it is. Although late, of course, if we have some close situations with a spot where we can get a big stack on our first boat, we're going we're gonna to take it. As of right now, we're plenty deep with 216 bigs. Stack is 65K up from 50, and the blinds go up really slow every 30 minutes. That's an eternity when you play online, okay? 30 minutes online is the equivalent of like an hour and a half, two hour levels in a real tournament. So we got ace 10, I'll open this hand. Oh no, I won't, I'm gonna fold this hand. Look how tight I play, right? Oof. This is a shitty hand to play in this spot. This many players behind you, early position raise, like, I mean, you could turn it into a bluff and three bet it. I just don't like flatting. We got Maddox behind flatting, really small, like re-raising mini. So he made 2.1, made a 4.3. Put that. Lots of notes developing on Matic. He's firing big now. Super small re-raise pre. And now big bet on the King 8-6. Pastoral decide to call. Pastoral from Turkey. Yeah, Rob Sevic says, when the blinds go up, it appears as though your stack goes down because you're showing blind count. If I'm not paying attention, it looks like you lost a lot of chips. Like a lot of people say that. It's like, oh my God, you had 300 bigs. What happened to you? You only have 200. I'm like, well, the blinds went up. <laughs> Mike McKay came back to poker after a long break. Why did the standard race stop being three big bets? That was, called, that was a long time ago. I stopped doing that in 2000, 2001. So we're talking 20 years. Like I was doing it very early stages along with guys like Alan Goring, um, Paul Phillips, I remember, uh, O'Neill Longston, very few people did understand the concept of it. But um, to, to answer your question, I mean, I would say get the masterclass that I did and have a deeper understanding as to why. But uh, yeah, that's like everyone sort of caught on to what I knew a long time ago. And you don't see three X. I mean, when it's deeper, so you had the king queen, huh? What did he bet on that river? I got to check now. Min three bet with the king queen. Okay, notes abound. We got up. So now I'm because that hand's over. I, I'm like I said. I'm really gonna be dialed in today. So we're gonna look at that hand. That's the cool thing. Is if I miss something, I can just look back. So check, check call, check check turn, check bet sixty five. All right. Wow. Hmm. Okay. 6,500. All right, let's see here. I got another note on Matic. Value bet then. King, eight, six, five, one. So we got re-raised by the oyster. I don't like this one bit. This is super nitty. Very exploitable, like you should play here. But again, early stages, I'm looking to play a lot more hands that uh, flop big. This stack depths. I've also got Matic. If I call, Matic will likely call as well. And then you're playing ace-queen out of position against two players. Not ideal. So once again, you know, we flopped an ace, which is great. Probably have the best hand, but when we don't, it's often going to be up against ace-king. A lot of possible draws there. What we're trying to do here on this bullet is avoid, you know, disastrous spots. And this would be qualified as one, you know, or not disastrous, but like really, really risky. All 
All right, so we got Maddox check raising. So if I called, he was obviously calling. Now he's check raising. So if Oyster folds, or if, I, if Oyster comes and we know we made a good fold, I really think we saved a lot of chips here, as it turned out. Oh, wow, maybe not. Maddox is playing a little cray cray in the early stages of the main event. So what would we have done there, right? If we called, check, check to the guy on the to Oyster, he bets, we call, and then Maddox goes check raise. And you have ace queen, bro, against a player like Maddox. Rick Hall, do you ever register late and why? Is there a strategy to registering late? I don't when I don't have to. Like sometimes, you know, if I'm tired and I don't have, like well, sometimes the events start at 6 a.m. I'm like, I'd rather just jump in when I wake up at eight. But ideally I think there's value in showing up on time. If you don't think you're a favorite in the fields and you think, you know, your opponents are better than you, you don't think you're very good, then showing up late is actually probably gonna, you're probably gonna lose money either way as far as like, you know, your poker career, but jumping in when the blinds are shallow means that the pros advantage is lessened. So if you bought in the very last minute of the late red, you'll have a very short stack, but you'll still be there, right? With a chance to just double up. And you know, when you have 10 big blinds or 15 big blinds, it's not, people can't really outplay you like they can when you know, you're sitting on 200 big blinds. It's like, okay, I mean, you're either in or you're out, you know, when you're that short. Mm -hmm. Brian Bell, Aloha from Maui, Daniel from Facebook. How many levels today, Josh DeRoy? There's 15 levels and they're 30 minutes a piece. So we are in for a long day. All right, we got Glassman coming in with 2.4 UTG. All right, we can defend this big line for sure, as long as it's not re-raised. But you have to tread carefully with a hand like this as well. I mean, you got an under the gun raise, middle position call from Adam Owen, a good player. You never would call. It's like Vyashis Lev, three bets we'd fold. But we're going to definitely defend our blind with Queen Jack. And now we flop pretty good. But again, dangerous. We've got top pair open into straight draw. Could be, I mean, theoretically, could be up against King Jack, could be up against an over pair. We're not folding on this flop. 10 on the turn. I think this is a spot where we're supposed to bet. So we're going to 2.8. All right, if we get raised here, then it's a fold, right? What, what raises us here? Ace 10, King 10, pocket nines, straights. All right, glass men called. That's okay. He could still have something like ace king. So now we've got tens and nines. The diamonds got there. Going to make a small bet. Hoping to get called by ace high right here. That's what we're targeting. Get this 3.4 into 14.4. And we are allowing him to bluff us because if he raises us, I mean, we pretty much have to fold, right? And we have to ask ourselves, well, what hands open under the gun that contain a 10? Probably doesn't have queens. We have a queen. And he's not going to raise us with a straight. So he's calling. Okay, ace high. <laughs> Bravo, Danielle. Bravo. Well done. Okay. I'm clapping for myself. And now we're going to say, ship it. <laughs> That's obnoxious, ain't it? Thank you, Casey Montag. Hopes I take it down. Charles Anthony Fouch, did you sell any action in this one? Not yet. So the way this works with these phase events is uh, the whatever your stack is after day one, then you can list it and it'll do what's called an ASMU, average stack markup. All right, so this guy we, we know from the last battle, kind of aggressive with his sizing. We're not gonna fold an ace. We didn't limp ace three to fold. And now we just go into protect, protection mode and just check. We just, now we just hope we're not coolered, right? Because like against this player, you know, based on the last time we played against them, you know, it's gonna be very unlikely that we fold um, at any point when we flop top pair. So he bets big once again. All right, I'm gonna take one off. There's the four of clubs. Be really surprised if he bets this card. 
you should be checking, I'd say, right here, like in this spot, 75, 80% of the time. What the fuck is going on? I don't know what to do with this glass man guy. We're just too high up in our range to fold. We can't fold just yet. All right, and he could have a hand like King Jack, King 10 with a club and barrel this through. He could put me on a gut shot and fire. So a hand is just far too good to fold on the turn. Now we just hope he checks it back. If he bombs really big, fuck me. What is he value betting? Flushes, flushes, nine, ten, jack nine. I mean, I think we're it's probably gonna have to call this one off. Would he bet that size with ace eight, ace queen, sets? Potentially, he says just one time. Oh boy, I'm gonna put. It's so confusing. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna fold this one. Doing a lot of talking over there. We're gonna make a big payoff here. Yes, motherfucker, yes! Oh, yeah! Eat some of that, buddy, eat some of that. Woo! That was big. I'm so good, I'm gonna put, I'm so good. Ship it. And then, sorry, bro. All right, I'm gonna have to add that big bluff on there. So again, that's kind of like as we talk through the hand, um, realize like, so his value betting range there isn't that wide. It's flushes, maybe ace, queen, ace, eight, but there's just so much more in terms of bluffs he could have. All right, we are going to three bet this one as well. To nine bigs. Deep stacked, all right, what was my note? All right, line, big blind. Raised King 10 from BB. All right, we won that one, sweet. Flop, Ace, Queen, Eight, Club, Club. Hang on, King, Club, 10, Ace, Queen, Eight. Bam, four. All right, we got Ace, Nine of Hearts, let's call. Bet, 4.2. What was it? Turn four clubs, bet 13.6 to 15. River. What the fuck was the river? I don't even remember. Deuce. River, deuce, whatever. He bets 30. typically want to, when you're taking notes, you typically, you know, you really, when, when you see big bluffs or things like that, those are things you definitely want to put in the memory bank for next time. Um, so that kind of helped us. The fact that we had one note against him from earlier, where he bet pretty big size on flop and pretty big size on turn, um, let, us knew that, let us know that, like, well, he's certainly capable. So if you're for him to do it twice in a row, and just, just well, I, I'm not doing a good job putting this into words. I guess what I'm saying is the second time he made really big bets, um, it wasn't out of the norm for him because we already saw him do that. So it wasn't like, wow, why is he betting so big now? Because he did basically, you know, bets big, period. So what's our stack looking at right now? 83K, up from 50. Thanks, Mike Weatherman, big fan, he says. Very happy with that call, though. Yes. All right, break time. All right, we'll be back, guys. We're gonna we're in it for the long haul, so hang with us. Grab yourself whatever you're gonna grab yourself. I'm gonna relieve myself and then uh, get back to it.
Alrighty, so after the bug that I just saw, I went outside, get a little fresh air, right here on the beach, beautiful, relaxing. I don't know if this was a bat, Spider-Man, whatever, it was huge. This black, looked like a huge fly bat, I don't know what the hell it was. And it was like in the screen door trap, and I'm trying to like tell it to go, and move out of its way, it finally left. But like it made me think about my puppies and how originally I was gonna bring them here to Mexico. Then I started reading up on all these bugs and different snakes and whatever, and I'm like, man, my pups, man. I don't want something to happen to them out here. I'm sure they'd be fine, but if something did happen, I'd never forgive myself. So we left them back home in Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas West Ham says, Heaven, have you lost so much weight you've now evaporated? I still got these, buddy. You got guns. I'm doing good. We've trimmed out for sure. We lost 30 pounds. 35 actually. Now we're on the way back up. Bulking. What? Hmm. <laughs> Low Life says, we want the wife streams back. Well, she's sleeping right now. RC Yuntunen, thoughts on Tuka Rask's decision to opt out of the playoffs. I don't know if you guys saw that Boston Bruin kid uh, goalie. He was kind of like despondent and didn't see me. He was like his head was all that in it anyway. And then he said uh, he wanted to leave the bubble, which is, you know, the way to protect against, you know, people getting the spread of COVID. And so he just left on his team. And I get it, you know, like you got kids, your head's not in it, you might as well. But I think it was, it's unfortunate, I guess, for the team that he just didn't make that decision beforehand. But I guess it got to that point. Nasser Abedalif, is it guaranteed 25 million? It is guaranteed 25 million, which is insane, right? Like, I mean, we got, what, 75 players today so far. Yours truly sitting in fifth place. There's all the info. Uh, as of right now, obviously based on a $25 million prize pool, first prize will be 4.4. Next payout, 100K. Wait. No, that's not right. It's just like, what ebbs. All right, so we're doing good. We made a good call there. Lots of day one flights. This isn't the only one, so don't worry. I mean, I don't know if they're going to hit the guarantee, but it doesn't matter. You know, the money's got to go in. Is, you know, such is life. I've been thoroughly enjoying the process of like bulking back up. So, you know, now I can eat more food, probably like 500 more calories. Or was it? No, even more. Like a thousand more calories a day from what I was eating. I was eating between 18, 1900. Now I'm up to about 2800. It's yummy. It's fun. Eating is way more fun than dieting. Jeez. And we're doing it gradually. Like my goal is only to gain, gain like a half pound a week. You're not, you know, obviously you're not going to gain a half pound of muscle a week, just half pound total. And I've been holding it, holding my own here in Mexico. I had a few glasses of wine here with dinner with my wife and a couple vodkas and maybe some tequila with her. But other than that, you know, that's kind of what I was hoping for with this whole diet thing that I did, which is to get to a point where, you know, I can live and not feel like I have to count everything and be like, oh, measure this, measure that. And I've been following the program. For those of you that are curious what this program is, it's a guy named Fritz Hortzman. I think he's on Facebook too, but he's on Instagram. Fritz Hortzman. He does a podcast called the, uh, the um, fitness, the vegan fitness podcast. So the, the Vegan Fitness Podcast, I'm going to show you his profile. <laughs> Fritz Hortzman. So this is the guy, if you're looking for him. Hold on. Look, that's, look at that. i give you a little beach view. Ha <laughs> ha, how cool is that? There's Fritz Hortzman, spelled. And he has his own little... If you have been wondering, hey Fritz, I don't have these fancy things. Can I still be successful on a plant-based diet? Can I still see results without chickpea tofu, without seitan, 
or tempeh or the things you post, yes, of course. Okay. I just eat these things and share them with you to yeah. inspire you. That's Fritz. So I kind of found Fritz randomly uh, based on his podcast. I listened to a lot of podcasts. And his sort of came up as a suggestion, and I started looking at his Instagram. I'm like, wow, our beliefs are very aligned. Right? He's obviously plant based, um, and just a lot of the theories in terms of how to build muscle and you know lose fat, all that stuff, just like intuitively made a lot of sense to me. So I started working with him on the program, and um, I've never really heard you know until him. And there's definitely science that backs it. The idea of like, all right, you want to get bigger and stronger, we're going to lose the fat first. You know, normally, like, people always say, you know, bulk up first, get big. But most often, people just do what's called the dirty bulk. Where you're like, oh, you got bigger, but, like, you just got fat. And then, you know, your body's out of shape and you're whatever. So what we do with this is for six months, I did a cut. Um, goal was to lose about a pound a week. We did. And uh, get really lean, right? Now, start adding the muscle slowly and adding the weight back and doing it in such a way that's lean. Like, where you're not just gaining a whole bunch of unnecessary unhealthy fat right it's funny because i never thought i was like 175 and five foot nine i was like all right this is normal weight i feel like i'm healthy and then uh getting down to like 140 mark andrew said i was very close to going on your tv show daniel nagana's millionaire challenge oh i thought you meant million million what do you call it Mil million matchmaker what the hell is it Millionaire Matchmaker, I did that. I just was talking to the lady, it's so funny, who um, was just talking to the lady who booked the show because I did a favor for her this, earlier today where she asked me to, uh, I hadn't heard from her in years since I did the show, asked for a favor for her, like her friend's birthday. She's a big fan of mine or whatever, so I called her on her birthday. She was blown away, it was like so cool. She watched my master class, the whole deal. Um, but yeah, Millionaire Matchmaker, and she asked if I still, you know, know, talk to the girl or whatever. And I was like, I mean, occasionally, I mean, I follow her on Instagram. She changed her thing now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll show you her Instagram. Why not promote? She does promote and stuff now. She's like a... Whatever. She's cool. She was nice. Just didn't work out. But she's got a lot of these, you know, these types of pictures on there now. You know, like just all ass and titties. And she does it on like it's called motos and stilettos or whatever. So it's like always in front of a like a bike, like a motorcycle, chopper. Choppers. Shit like that, you know. On a bike, motos and stilettos. So I still follow her. No, I haven't talked to her in a long time. She was cool, fun. If you guys watched the episode, I was lucky because the other guy in the episode was such a clown. He was such a clown that he made me look good. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, so the blinds are going up now. We finally reached level three. Got the old 6 3 of diamonds on the button against two players on our left. One. Big betting guy, the other one, you can fold that. I think I would have opened that hand if it was folded to me this deep. And that's a hand where, you know, this deep I might open, but if we only had like 40 big blinds or less, I, I wouldn't. Blackhawks did it. I'm, I'm kind of glad that the Blackhawks beat the Golden Knights last night because I was so annoyed with myself for not betting on the sweep because I really felt like the Golden Knights were going to sweep them, and they did not, so... I feel like I saved myself the agony of having to watch the sweep and being like, I, you know, I could have bet a lot of money on that. David Mulligan, where do you rank in player of the year? I don't even know. I mean, the way player of the year is this way this year, it's not like it has been where, you know, it's one spot. Like they had one for WSOP. And I don't know where I came in the top 20 or something like that with 15 caches. And then there's a separate leaderboard for GG Poker, which, let's check, shall we? Let's go look. Let's see, main lobby, WSOP leaderboard. I'll tell you if we rank anywhere. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You can't see this, but I can. Well, whatever, you guys can go in and check it. It's pretty easy, it's right in the lobby. 
Um, you'll see tournament lobby, take my seat, WSOP leaderboard. So I don't know where I, where I rank. I mean, I haven't won anything. Just make a deep run every single day. But I haven't made even a final table yet, which is crazy. Let me see. This is a really slow structure, bro. Is that Rampage in the house? Rampage in the house, huh? What's up, Rampage? All right, yeah, Rampage Poker. I think he won a bracelet. Congratulations to Rampage Poker on your bracelet victory. I'd love to, you know, frickin' hand over all 27 of my caches for just one win. <laughs> You know, maybe we should start squeezing again. I think it's time to start squeezing again. Let's go back to the lobby. Main lobby. Teen eggs. Settings. Card squeeze. On. Okay. Apply. So what this does, you'll see when I get the cards. The cards will come face down. And then I can squeeze them. All right, so there you see the cards down, kind of like you're playing in a real cash game, right? Then you go down like this, and you can like slowly see that that's a three, and then you can spread them seven. Nope. All right. You don't have to do this. It's optional. GG is pretty versatile when it comes to fun stuff. You've got the snap cam. You've got a whole bunch of stuff. up glass man i just want to tell you I'm, my heart is still recovering from that bluff that you tried to pull on me so just think about it okay i'm an older guy i don't need to have a heart attack so glass man just play nice nice okay stop with these big bets and bomb 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 every street just play nice nice please so i'm going to send a snap cam to the glass man it takes a couple seconds for uh to record it you get 15 oh shit yeah Hmm. Yeah, I got an error. I'm sick. Let's try that again. All right, Glassman, it's been a few minutes now. I've gotten to relax from that time that you tried to bluff me. So please, let's just play nice, nice now and stop trying to bluff me because I can't handle it. And I don't, my heart. I, I just, just be a good boy or a girl. I don't know what you are. Okay, let's try sending that. Oh, what the hell? Ah, I'm not having an error with the snap cam. Let me see. Strange. Worked earlier. Ultra. Microphone. Should work. All right. Try it a little bit later. Something up. Hearts can fold that one. James Molly, what do you think of Ronnie Sullivan? Absolute legend. I listened to what he the interview and I watched it. Oh shit, what the hell did I just do? All right. A7, we can fold. I don't know what I did with these images on the left. I'm trying to fix.
What was I saying? Ronnie Sullivan. All right, so I watched this video, I can't tell you how many times, like 30 times, laughing my ass off. It's very offensive. You'll be offended. You're whatever. Well, you probably, if you're watching my stream at this point, you won't be offended. But it's this interview he did years ago. He was over in Asia and he said, he goes, Suck that there? Come 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 suck that there? Out of position, suited, royal, 40% of a royal flush, as Phil Locke would say. All right, we got top pair. Proceed with caution, out of position against two players, one of which, Glassman, bets big as we've seen. All right, we could check raise here, but we almost never do. I'm just gonna call. Okay. Ace on the turn would be brilliant. That way if my friend has ace queen or ace king and he's just c-betting here, it gives him a little something to root for. There's no point in betting now. I'm gonna check and probably call, we would call pot, we would call a pot size bet. That turn card could have given him a reason to lead if he has something like king queen of hearts or king ten of hearts or even ace ten of hearts. All right, draw heavy card. Oh, this is dangerous. I'm playing against a tight player, you see his V-pip is only 12. So he could have the same hand as this, or he could have a bigger pair. We're going to find out. Oh, that's a not a good card for us at all. We still beat ace-king. We don't beat ace-queen or king-10 or king-queen. This is a spot where a big bet can get us off the hand. Because when we play this hand the way that we did, he knows it's a jack. A pretty, oh, wow. Doom buggy running by on the beach. Just check, bro. It's okay. Be nice. Oh shit, that's a big over bet, right? So now we need a pretty strong hand to call. He could very well have King Ten of Hearts. I, he doesn't have a one pair hand. He doesn't have Ace Queen. He could have Queens and Jacks himself. Queen Jack of Hearts. Queen Jack of Diamonds. No, no, just Queen Jack of Hearts. That's it. I'm going to make a lay down here. Oh, such is life. Pretty bad card. When he barrels the turn, like, we beat some bluffs, right? But then on the river, when the queen comes, we don't beat any anymore. All we beat is ace-king, and it's a weird, play, weird hand to bluff with. Ace-king or ace-ten. Right? I mean... What, what did we beat, when you think about it? Oh, I think it was a good fold. My man playing pretty snug. So we're still sitting on 77K. All right, let me see if I can get that snap cam working again. Let me see. Yo, Oyster Bro, what'd you have there, man? Just, you can tell me, it's fine. No one's listening. Let's see if that worked on here. Yo, Oyster Bro, what'd you have there, man? Just give me something, it's fine. No one's listening. I think it worked. Okay, I might get the snap cam through. There it is. Yo, Oyster Bro. See, it's fun. You get to table talk while you're playing the World Series of Poker. Let me see if there's any chat. I haven't been checking out the observers. Oh, it's been a long time since they've been chatting. Yeah. No, that's not true, David Edelstein. Snapcam is video and audio. It's both. Yeah, you have to set your settings to make sure that your mic is working, but... We did, I just send one. Queen, queen, queen. Oh, nice hand. I'll tell him. 
He said he had three queens. I believe him. He had three queens. That is very believable, is it not? I mean, he could be lying, right? So we don't, we don't write it in as like he had three queens. I don't know, but it seems to be in line with the way that he played the hand, right? Raised early position, see bet flop, bet turn, bombed river. Mr. Smith Anderson, with no HUD, Daniel, you don't play with HUDs on GG. GG poker is not set up to make, you know, the life of the multi-tabling pro easier. Everyone gets a HUD. And the HUD is quite simple. It's called a smart HUD. See here, I've got 18 with a fireball. That means I've been hot lately. Played 18% of hands. It's a pretty low VPIP compared to Glassman, who's at 51% playing every pot. And then you look around the table, you got that. You got Lucas Greenwood, 1.7 million in earnings. He's won his last tournament that he played on here. So you can click on the name, get a little more information. Yeah, I don't have OCD tendencies, but I see what you're saying, like that uh, thing on the left. I can't figure out how to line it up. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll try one more time. Hopefully it doesn't destroy the whole stream and then everyone can blame you. Nope, not that. All right, so what do we go in here? We go this way maybe? What's this line doing? I can't do it. I don't know what the hell's going on. You guys are going to mess me up. It's, oh, shit. What do I do now? All right, it's fine. Sorry. I mean, I'm not... I'm just not good with the techie things like that. So if something is a little bit off, you're going to have to get used to it. All right, we're going to come in for two and a half with the ace-king. Two and a half, two... Like, when, as the tournament gets later, we'll come in for two when the blinds go down. Or not the blinds. The average stack goes down. But right now, we can profitably come in at two and a half from early position. Don't really mind Glassman coming with us for a bit. He's been playing super aggro, and he's going to re-raise this to 11. All right, so why, Lane Flack used to say, why are they pushing when the donkey will do the pulling? So this is a spot where we're pretty deep to four bet. If I had like 40 or 50 blinds, I'd be happy to get it in. But we're way deep, so I'm just going to put this in my calling range, as they say. Flop top pair, and then if he's got us, he's got us. So right now, what are we worry about? We're worried about pocket jacks, we're worried about aces, and that's it. Or kings, I guess, but not really. The theoretical, like the, the most likely danger hand we're up against is pocket jacks, specifically aces, exactly one combo of kings. Ooh, that's a terrible card. It's not a good card for us, because now if he has queens or ace 10, that beats us too. I really hate that turn card. Like, really hate it. Especially when he checks back this flop. Hopefully he just has ace-queen. Fuck me. Yeah, that's like I said, I really didn't like that turn card. Three queens is a very, very big part of his range here right now, but we're not gonna fold. Spade on the river. I was saying, I'm just thinking about whether I, I want to like lead here. I'm gonna check. Glassman is frisky. I don't think I can call this bet in this spot. I really don't. Crazy, I know, to say that. Oh fuck, thank God. What the hell? That's a weird one. He's just gambling, huh? I don't know if he's gambling because... All right, I'm going to do a little something different. Limp with the King Jack. What's this glass man's deal right now? All right. Russian player. All right. I'll put this note down. I'm glad he didn't bet big on the river. I would have had a tough 
and I'm giving this guy too much credit for having like legit hands and I notice now you know 54% is his V-pip this is a limp remember when I said when people limp you know you usually think that they're bad players they're weak uh, and uh, I do it occasionally so you can think I'm a bad player who's a little weak alright we're just gonna fold sorry for getting in your way wow okay let's ban that guy Where's that guy? You said something stupid, you're gonna get banned. Hold on, I'm gonna find you. Oh, there you go. Asmund Holvik, see ya. Just wanted to say your name, I'm sure that's what you're hoping for. Bye bye Say stupid stuff, you get blocked. All right, defend this blind with King-10 against Lucas Greenwood. Check it on over to Lucas. He will bet this with a high frequency, and we are going to peel this flop. I am going to take a card off. Got a three flush, three straight, king high, betting small amount. We can turn this into a bluff in a lot of spots when the turn goes check, check. A lot of turns and river cards where we can do that with. Ace of Hearts is an interesting card. Um, I'm going to do a combination of things with this bet. 2.8. I'm going to price myself in. Semi bluff. Give myself. I'm giving myself a cheap draw and also trying to just bluff the hand through. Obviously, I don't think he's folding this very often, and you know, nor should he. And if he raises, we have to fold. We're trying to decide the price we're paying on this spot. All right. Now there's not a lot of point in bluffing this river through. We just priced ourselves in by donking on that ace of hearts, and I'm not going to go ahead and bluff. I'm going to check. I mean, small chance King High is good. No, he has an ace. Okay, cool. So it would have worked, I think, a lot of the time. If he didn't catch the ace, the plan was to call flop uh, if on a check-check turn, you know, bet a lot of straighty rivers from the big blind because in the big blind, I'm going to tell him, you suck. <laughs> mm -hmm. You suck, dude. <laughs> I played with that guy plenty, so I'm I'm fine with the way I played the hand. Look, we cost we cost ourselves 2.8. He might have checked it back. We cost ourselves more, but it was a good card to barrel the turn, I think, or just not to barrel, but to bet the turn because we had the ten of hearts. We had the king high. It's good by me. All right, hold on. Okay, if you want to fix it, click Overlay under Sources and move that first and get it in the right spot. Then click Image under Source. Okay, let me try now. My man giving me tips. All right, so Overlay. So let's do that. Let's click Overlay. Well, what the hell did that do? Overlay. And move that. No, I'm not doing I'm going to let him do it. Uh, you do it. All right, we are going to fix that overlay thing. Christian's going to fix it because I can't do it. Because this can be a long stream. I want to at least have that right. Whoa, that's uncalled for. Glass man still playing 52%, and that's enough of a sample size now where we can look at that and 
almost certifiably say, okay, this guy had an eight-handed table to play as many hands as we played through an hour and a half. If you're playing 52% of the hands at an eight-handed table, you're playing too many or you're playing the super aggro style with the intention of maybe gambling. Try to build a stack, which is totally fine. But then you look at the other end of the spectrum, you see Oyster over there sitting on 14%. He's the player where we folded the ace-jack. Javier Estevez, what's your body fat percentage? I think I was down to about 12%, but I haven't been able to check because I haven't gone anywhere. You know, I like to get a check professionally. But if I had to guess, I'd say 10, no, no, 12% probably. And, and it probably stay that way because you don't want to get muscle. <laughs> I am Royale. I already did accept the challenge, bruh. I mean, what you want me to tell you? Okay, you're going to get banned. I like banning. It's fun. You know, just literally. Let, so if you just understand one thing, if you want to be part of this stream and you want to be in the chat or whatever, if you try to get at me with remarks and try to get me to flip, flip, out, flip out like I did before I got banned from, from Twitch, um, Chances are I'm just going to block you and then you can't have fun anymore. So it's up to you, you know, your choice. But uh, if you want to have a fun time in the stream and, and give me some, some needles here and there, that's fine. too. There's a lot of you guys. It's cool. See ya. Currently, the Raptors are playing. I'm not watching the game. I could probably put the game up on this laptop over here and watch. I busted a laptop yesterday. I destroyed the thing. Let me show you. I just, it's dead. Completely dead. And all I did was drop my, ah, whatever, I'm not going to show you. But basically, I was just on the couch playing on my normal laptop that I, that I just play on. And it's just barely hit the ground and <laughs> computer's gone, useless. Luckily I have this, which is connected to a laptop and I have my other laptop here. Got a phone and <laughs> we got plenty of backups just in case. We knew we'd be here a while. So sometimes tech things happen. Ronald J, can ban people from the chat still watch the video? They can, I believe you can still watch, but you don't get to chat. Ace four is a full. Oh, we lost. Uh, what the hell happened? Did he go broke? No, he got moved. Huh? Let's see, go to hand history. Yeah, he got moved. Sweet. As much as you know, he was an action player with a big stack. I'm happy to see him go because he was a thorn in my side. You know, like so. Here's the weird thing. Like a player like him, what he's doing against me will be effective in terms of screwing up my game, but. He's also screwing up his. So it's kind of like, cool, you did great to destroy me as you just went broke yourself. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a love-hate relationship with players like that. Am I a gypsy? I am not. Romanian, but not a gypsy. Ron St. Owned, what pool hall did I play when I was younger? I played at the uh, Palace Club, was my main spot in Toronto, and then I also met Evelyn Ng. Back then we were teenagers, I dated her. She, uh, after I met her, she was at uh, Studio Billiards. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, basically, but I was Palace Club. Palace Club Billiards, Finch and Leslie, 
back in Toronto, eh? Ruben Tinkle says only 70 players are left. Well, we started with 81, and this is a phase tournament or heats or whatever you want to call them, where there's multiple day ones. And then uh, I'm going to fold this. And then uh, for those that uh, last the entire way, they move on to day two, which will happen on, let me get that for you, on, oh, this is a three day event. Oh, no, no, it's not a three day event. Day two will resume on August 30th. So. 13 days. You got three opportunities to qualify, three chances to try to make it through to day two with a stack. And then after that happens, I'll put up a package in the lobby where you guys can get a piece. I'll sell 25% of myself with well, no markup outside of the ASMU. I was talking about that earlier. The ASMU is built into the client and it is the average stack markup. So Basically all that means is it's whatever stack you have divided by the starting stack. So let's say you have 300K stack. You know, you start with 50K, 300 divided by 50 is six. So you'd pay six times what 1% would be, for example, if you were buying 1%. And don't forget too, when you were buying in, you're typically buying in close to the money. So very high percentage of the time, you'll get at least some of that back with a chance at uh, the big dough. I do not have a bracelet bet Clifford Carnegie against Lucas Greenwood or Sam Greenwood. I don't have a bet against either. Mulsumaski Ionut Mihai. That's my brother's name, Mihai. Mihail, actually. But Mihai, I don't know. Do you consider? No, I'm not gonna answer that. Fold that, all right. So the blinds are up now. We're on to level four. Level four of 15 levels today. We will be here with you through the duration Holding that. Michael Stein, where are you playing golf in Vegas lately? Go Knights Go. The only place I play almost exclusively is TPC Summerlin, which has the PGA event there each and every year. First place Tiger Woods ever won a PGA tournament was my home course. Pretty cool. I just watched it too. It was 1996, and I just watched it the other day. Or like oh, before I left. I was watching the old school golf. Nine ten suited. Checking out the stacks. We're still going to come with the 2.5. Checking that to see if there's any short stacks behind uh, or, you know, just the average stack. As it gets lower, as I said, we're going to lower the raise size to 2 near the end or maybe 2.2-ish. All right, we will take it down. Queen 10, early position. I'm going to fold this one. Yep, I know. Ecstasy of Gold is that song that we hum. See, it's like plays in the lobby. Where is it? Let's see. I can show you. It's catchy. Oh, no, it's gone now. Never mind. Hmm. It's funny because I read some comments from certain people that are very, very kind. And I wonder like what people who hate me would actually think this guy's an idiot or something. Michael Hernandez from Facebook said, I watch you now and then. I really admire you. You're a very positive person, humble and a great guy. Best wishes and lots of positive vibes. Thank you, Michael. But you know, sometimes I'm an asshole. Just so you know, I can be a jerk too. We got both, you know, we all have shadow. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But appreciate the kind note. Big blind, pair of nines, squeezed out a pair. Mm. 
JP C123 is raising. I'm going to just call the nines right here and then certainly going to check call this flop. It's a decent flop for us, right? I mean, the jack's obviously an overcard, so if he has a hand like king jack, queen jack, ace jack, ten jack, um, we're, we're in bad shape, or pocket pairs. But outside of that, all the other combos of hands he has, we're ahead, right? He could have eights, he could have sevens, he could have king queen, he could have a whole bunch of hands that we're ahead of him. At this price, we're going to call. Now that cuts down even more the number of hands we beat because now we no longer beat king queen ace queen queen 10 queen 9 suited so you're thinking in terms of ranges right like okay he opens so what does that mean all right we know he doesn't have 9 3 offsuit or probably not so he started with something decent now he's overbetting the pot our hand is too weak to continue for that sizing he's betting 15 into 10 now he could be bluffing he could have like ace 10 of spades or whatever but even if he does have a hand like that he's got a lot of outs and we would have to make a tough call on the turn and then decide on the river all right nine of spades on the river so we almost certainly even if he was bluffing with ace king maybe made a royal flush in that spot so it was an interesting bet i'm going to mark that down i'm going to mark that down just make a note of his sizing know that he's capable of it Okay, so anytime there's sort of an, wouldn't say ordinary, unordinary play, but like a something of interest, I jot that down. I'm gonna do that with this hand. All right. Bet jack six twos. Bet fifteen and ten. Okay. So yeah, I'll just show you what I wrote. Nothing special, nothing crazy. But I put over bet turn. So if I see that, I usually put a column, and then I just put the details underneath. And then I start to sort of slowly but surely build a profile on the player. And I'll put a little semicolon there. Someone said it's 115 degrees in Vegas right now. Do I miss it? That's pretty hot. And I got this beautiful, be beautiful beach right here. Waves are crashing. It's uh, almost, I think it's hurricane season, so the waves have been really just ferocious. It's beautiful to watch, you know. Sort of got a connection to the ocean all of a sudden that I never thought was a real thing. I mentioned this in the vlog. Uh... My wife, you know, she's like, oh, I love being by the water. And I thought it's like, oh, one of those things. But no, it really, really is calming. Just watch, just sitting there, watching waves. Steve Thatcher, how much do you have riding on bracelet bets? What would be the best result for you? Well, the best result, for maybe win one. I don't know how much I win, honestly, but it's probably less than a million. What handicap? What handicap do I play off? I think I'm a 14. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is bad. Just got a message from the lady. I wanted to ask you if you could please check if there are some flashlights in Casa 5. Maybe in the laundry or the kitchen. On Wednesday, August 19, there's a hurricane approaching, but we are not sure if it's going to affect us. So we just want to be aware we have flashlights in the house in case the power goes off. Ooh, that would suck bad. That's a scary message. That's no joke. My wife loves like crazy weather. It's scary but fun. Sending this to Amanda.
copy. So that's coming up soon. Wednesday, man. Two days from now. Jeez. That could be an issue if the power goes out. I mean, online poker it won't be a stream. That's nuts, huh? Hopefully it doesn't affect us. I mean, oh, wow. We just got re-raised and re-raised? Never mind. That would be insane. Hurricane Genevieve. No joke, this hurricane. Hmm. Wednesday gonna be windy. Good to hear Chopper MC. Glad you're loving the streams. Fold here. What do we got? 82K. Still sitting pretty. So that's nuts. The, the um, I have to look at the schedule. Because, I mean, listen, if we lose power, we lose power. I can't. I think I might be able to still play on my phone. Because that's not connected to the internet here. Where am I? I can charge up my iPad. The lady just asked if we have flashlights in the house because we might lose power my wife would love that in a way because she just loves it it's, she's into that stuff she watches shark movies and stuff <laughs> I mean yeah that would suck dude Big G, the ASMU does use your stack factor. Uh, it is. The way that they calculate it, as I said, is whatever stack you have divided by your starting stack. So basically, like I said, if you start with 50K and then you end the day with 100, then your ASMU would be two. Two divided by one is two. DN, please tell me how to get better in reading Villain's Range. Masterclass.com. Go get my masterclass. I mean, it's going to cost you like 80, 90 bucks. It's well worth it. <laughs> Sebastian Acro, what poker site do you recommend? GGPoker.com is the place to be. Look at this cool software, man. Are you kidding me? It sends snap cams, squeeze. Hey babe, did you see my messages? Crazy, huh? Wifey's gonna help look for some flashlights, see if we're good for Wednesdays, big hurricane. Hopefully it doesn't crush this house. And kill us. And in five minutes, gonna help the wifey make my pasta. I am not surfing out here. Hell no. All right, we got three-way action. Got a sticky player in Matic. And we're gonna check this flop. You win, Matic. I'm not gonna fight you. Let's see what we would have caught. Nada. You can rabbit hunt, so you can see what you would have had. Cause all the pain. Okay. Come here. I know. Yeah. This one? I don't know. I'll go out there and look, but it's pretty nuts.
hmm. yeah, these waves are no joke. And Wednesdays, I mean, probably have to play on my phone if the internet, if the internet goes out and the power. Shit. What? Yeah, there's no flashlights. Okay, I'll tell Susanna. I'll tell her now. You already have a list for her or something? No. No flashlights. Good start so far today. Oh, yeah? yeah. Made a couple good calls and up that start and stack a little bit. Oh, okay, I haven't given her a list yet. Yeah, I'll put that on there right now. All right, we have two pairs. So let's go with, I was going to check back. Let's go 3.6. All right, put Coke. Wife wants not that kind, people. Stop. Two pair, take it down. I'll, ha I'll happily take that one. Christine Landry, don't worry, we're on it. We have a lady who will get us all the candles and flashlights we need. That's why she, she's the one who actually inferred about it. Wouldn't that be something? So what do you think the chances are that the hurricane hits here, babe? No, I haven't looked at the mic yet. Hmm. Are you doing a PB and J? You doing a PB and J? No. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Hurricane a coming. I still feel hungry of tweeting something about that. You know, maybe hitting Cabo or whatever, but no idea. Wednesday, that's just two days from now. Crazy. People did say, hey, be careful, hurricane season. You didn't think about that really, did you? Well, before we decided to come here? No. I mean, I did, but I was like, well, it seems safe ish. Why does it seem safe? I, don't, I really don't know. It's like, you know how I am sometimes with stuff like that? I'm just like, ah, I'm sure it's a fine otherwise. Hey, I guess we'll see. Yeah. I guess we will. All right, I got a break in a minute. Vlad Gabriel, ok, vreau să vorbești un pic de românește. Hai așa, atunci am vorbit pentru tine, da? Ronnie Coop, which poker app is this? This is ggpoker.com. GG Poker, check it out. Make sure this is open. What's that? It's like eat my mom making yours. Yeah. You do your thing, sweetheart. I'm not in a rush because I'm not even that hungry right now. But um, I will eat. Yeah, but yours has a lot of preparation. So. Yes, yes, that's what I was going to come help do. Oh, um, maman. Um, um, um. okay, my eye. Uh, let me tell her. Uh, it's Wednesday. Oh my God, we have to have Coke. <laughs> All right, be right back, people.
119. Hello? Oh, shit, are we doing this right now? So I'm not talking with, I'm out of this one, right? It's just Ali? What is happening? Is you, do you guys need me for something? Hello? Would you guys, oh. are we doing something right now? Yeah, buddy. Well, shit, I didn't know. Okay. Let's go. What's up, man? I'm good. Let's go. So you need to see my camera, right? You're going to be introducing the People's Choice Award as the ambassador. Okay. It's two minutes long. Okay, yeah, I got it. We're on break for another five. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Doing a little work here, people. I'm on the stream while we stream. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I was the first person to ever stream on Twitch stream. Pissed. Took the laptop, took a piss, the whole deal. <laughs> okay. I just like photobombing your video blogs during the summer. Okay. I'm ready. Doing a little work All here. Right. So I'll let you kind of explain the, the things that went into how the decision was made. You got all that? Uh, I did. Hold on. Yeah, I think I can basically do it. I mean, what I see here, I just don't yeah, want to yeah. steal the thunder because the whole reason for you to come in is to explain it. So yeah. social media engagement, oh, you can steal. observers, media coverage. You steal, you steal away. You open, you do your whole thing. I'll just play off of you. Okay, well, I'm, I'm literally just going to tee you up to kind of make the announcement because you're the ambassador. I don't, you know. All right. But I just want to make sure you have the talking points. It's uh, yeah, I got it. Based on factors like okay, social media yeah. engagement, event observers, media coverage. I got it. Blitz was playing the event. Yeah, yep. Gotcha. I got it right in yeah, front so of me. Yeah, so it's just gonna now. be me, me asking you to intro it. You'll intro it. No follow-up question or anything, and I'll take any of the talking points that you didn't mention after we get out and cut you loose. Okay, ready. And I'll just say you're streaming right now, so we'll cut you loose. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Good to see you, by the way, man. It looks like you're enjoying hey. your time out there. I am, but I just heard about a hurricane coming. Oh, really? There's a hurricane yeah. coming? Yeah, I said Wednesday, Mike. Wednesday. Ay, Dios mío. Mmm. By oh, the way, you guys are on stream, so if you say anything really stupid, a lot of people will hear you, just so you know. Oh. Well, then, well, then I gotta be quiet. <laughs> yeah, gotta, Ali gotta be careful. He's like, 9 out of 10 gonna say something highly offensive. All right, shifting our focus back to GG, where all of the remainder of the events over the summer are taking place, they have been doing some very creative things, and not the least of them is something that we are now going to bring in the ambassador to GG Poker, live from Mexico, Twitch streaming, but taking a minute to talk about the upcoming People's Choice Award. Daniel, take it away. Well, I'm excited to announce that the People's Choice event that was chosen based on a number of factors, including, you know, social media engagement, event observers, like everyone, just basically the overall buzz around it. We had players like Eric Seidel blinding off Max Cruz. You had the big man, Dan Blazarian, playing the event. And that was the 10K Heads Up Championship. So the Player's Choice event that we're going to be adding to the schedule is going to be a $25,000 buy-in Heads Up tournament. The demand was so high for the 10K that uh, we elected to go ahead and, and kick up the buy-in and, and put forth a $25,000 buy-in Heads Up tournament. Awesome, my friend. I know you're Twitch streaming right now. We'll let you get back to business, but thanks for helping us make that announcement. That thing sold out so quickly, Brent, yeah. that it makes just complete sense. And now Daniel has a chance to repeat his semifinal finish. Yes, he does. Or top round of I don't think he sorry. made the semifinals. No, the list made the finish. Yeah. 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 What? I thought we were cutting them. Good. Yeah. I said People's Choice Award, by good? the way. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Do you want to take one more pass at it or no? Do you, do you want to take one more pass at it, Daniel? No, I'm good. I got to stream anyway. Okay. All right, done. That was good You're by good. me. See y'all. Goodbye, Daniel. Bye, Bye guys. My God, you look great. Thanks, I know. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right. I totally forgot. I didn't even know that we we're doing that today. I knew we were doing that. So I was mentioning earlier we we're going to make an announcement. And that announcement is the People's Choice event is going to be the 20, a $25,000 buy-in heads-up tournament. Gearing up for that. Should be fun. Let's see here what we got now. Two minutes left. What's that? Oh, yeah. I will show you right here. There it is. Says to put the 
there's like a, so it, it says it right here, and then that's the, like all the stuff that's in it, and then this will give you if you need, it's pretty easy. You know? This is just this pan and fry, pan fry the tofu first, add the onions and garlic, and then the tomato paste, just get this sauce. Going for now. Yeah, just saying, it's basically, put the tomato sauce in last. Has to chop onions and shit. But ill, ill. Oh shit! Why did I close this? That'll suck. If the, I mean, like I'm thinking about this, you know, my streaming and stuff. But if we the hurricane takes us out. Yeah, I'd be worried about when they're streaming. I know, right? Worried about dying. All right, we are 12 minutes left of level four. Oh shoot, did Christian fix it? Hold on, did you fix the overlay? No, she says the, there's regular Coke and no sugar. I'll bring some regular. So bring rice cakes, basil leaves, and what was the other thing? Rice cakes, basil leaves, and four penny and penny pasta. Four penny pasta. Squeeze out a winner. Pocket nines, that's a winner right there, I'd say. Qualifies. Okay, I'm gonna try to get that, we didn't get that little thing fixed on the left, because Christian, uh, the, I'm so bad at this stuff, like, I have to just, because it's like off, the, you know, like the, the title and the headline, whatever. Oh. Christian, I'm gonna have Christian walk me through it. All right, so we raised Mad Dog. Mad Dog is a wild man. Now we could just jam here, get it in, but she's not three betting all that much. I'm going to take a flop. I'm going to take a flop for 7.5. More big blinds with the pocket nines. All right, well, that's a flop that could be trouble for us because again, the jack is the only overcard. What the hell? He's betting 18 and... Oh, Mad Talk, Mad Talk. What you doing, Mad Talk? This feels like... This feels like a hand here. Best case scenario is ace-king. If not, we're just dead, so I'm gonna fold and... Give it up. Ugh. Tough spot. He bet a lot. He bet way too much right, for us to call. Like if he bets quarter pot there, which is more like a standard GTO line in that spot, then we probably call the quarter pot and re re you know, sort of decide on the turn. But he basically committed himself with that sizing. All right, let's pick up the ace queen now. Calling Christian on FaceTime. And show me how to fix the thing. All right, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? 
Say hi to the people. Christian. Hello, everybody. Hey, hello, everybody. You said that's so corporate. Okay, so you want me to click on overlay? Yeah. Right. So, With FaceTime, can I flip the script, the screen? Yeah, I can flip, right? Yep. There you go. Okay, that, that works. All right, so click, click on overlay. Yep. Okay, that comes up, and then this comes up. Okay, uh, actually, just click, you don't need to double click it. So just hit oh. cancel. Okay, just click it once. Yeah, so now when you touch the screen, it should touch just that overlay. So slide that to the right a little. What, the whole thing? Yeah, well, it this? should just be on that overlay part. The... Try moving that just a little. Move what? Left, right? Okay. Well, see how you're on image down in sources? Yeah. Oh. So just click overlay. On overlay. And then what? Now do the same thing you just did. See how that? So slide that to the right a little more. Okay. More. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I think that's good, right? Uh, no, because that's still off. Don't worry about it lining up with that part yet. We'll fix that part second. So what's off? So you got to slide that over to the right more so that it's up against the table. Hold on, you're on image again, so you gotta Shit, click okay. overlay. Overlay, and then just move to the right. Move to the right and down a little bit. All right, back left a little. There you go. Good? Yep. And now it's like image. Sweet. Oh, fuck, yeah. I had it. Okay, don't move. <laughs> Fucking thing, it's so finicky. Yeah. Okay, I got a hand over here, hold on. All right, I'm gonna fold that. I mean, it looks okay now, right? Yeah, we just gotta move that. Oh. The... Now click the image and the sources. Click image? Oh shit. No, now you're moving the whole thing again. Okay, so click yeah, image click and now that. what? Yeah, now slide that down. Slide this down. Okay, good. There you go. Right, done. Should be yep. okay. Phew. Cool. Thanks, buddy. All right. See ya. Later. Bye. Christian's on it. Raptors up 30 in the second quarter, is that true? My God. My God, honey. She's gonna work on getting you those Cokes. She said different than what she wrote that? Yeah, so basically I told her, because she wrote, yes, there is regular and no sugar. <laughs> okay. okay, well wait. That still has sugar. That's your sugar cane. Okay. With sugar cane? Mm-hmm. Cane sugar, whatever. With cane sugar. Scene and regular. All right, let's go. All right, what's going on here? Back to action. Got the overlay fixed all by myself. Well, I didn't do it by myself. Never mind. Christian did it. Okay, we got 78K, started with 50, sitting in good position, average is 62, slowly creeping up, long way to go yet, 30 minute blind, it's gonna be tough to bust me, y'all. Oh, look, it's Yuri, Yuri Zilevsky. I do have a 100K bet against him, that I'm sure of, and he won a bracelet, but he won it before our bets counted, because I was uh, not here on the GG portion just yet. Mm -hmm. Someone said, hurricane is staying offshore, so you'll be okay. Just be ready for sideways rain and some killer waves, but just stay aware and stay. Get a generator if you want to feel safer. Thank you, Anthony Medina. That's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Should be generator okay. Would be nice, but that, What's that? A generator would be nice, but they don't have that. Yeah, I mean, listen, if we have to go a day, just me and you, candlelight. Okay, power out? What? It's not usually a day. Ever been in power outage? 
No, what happens? Oh, then I'm s I'd be so screwed, huh? Well, then maybe they would bring us generators if that happened. But no, we're going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. Thousands of dollars. I mean, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, we luckily we're rich. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to bitch for a while, so. What? I'm stuck here in candlelight. I, I know. I just candles. Wow. Yeah. Flashlights. The whole candles. thing. Okay, we're on the button here. I'm going to go back to the min rays. Maddoc is getting a little shorter on 60 bigs. Certainly don't mind seeing a flop with this hand. Heads up. Now you're going to notice our sizing is going to be very small, especially on a dead board like this, 10, 10 deuce. If he checks, we're going to bet 1.2, but he's betting 1.8. This is so weird. This guy's such a weird player to play against. I have to call. I mean. All right, there's the six. Now the dilemma is if he check. Well, if he checks, I'm going to bet and then fold to a check raise. I think. What the fuck is he doing? He could have a flush. He could have like any two. So, all right, just close your eyes and pray and hope that he doesn't have a ten. It would be a weird line for him to take, right? Just betting out a ten. All right, no sense in value betting the six, but I think we win. Check it down. King high. Oh fuck me! He hit a jack on the river. I knew it was some goofy bullshit, babe. This guy. He's a goofy one, but it's okay. We beat him a big pot early. He's just goofy. <laughs> then he hit his best card and didn't value that. <laughs> All right, let's just I add it. What's that? Did I cut this onion in the weirdest amounts on accident? Yeah. So just ignore it when you see it in the fridge. Oh, that's a nice Ten ten deuce. Six. Bet again. Jack River. Checked. King Jack. Off. All right. That was cute, Maddox. Cutesy, cutesy. The King Jack. David Enna says, "Looks like you've." shifted your strategy from to 2 to 2.5. Well, the reason for that, and you saw that I didn't on the last one, is the stack sizes are bigger. You know, this is a very deep tournament. So when you have people with more chips, then you uh, can up your sizes. So that's why. It's so random. I see a random YouTube comment that says we're going to be fine. I'm like, good. I must. One person. Yes, Anthony Medina. He's been on my chat a bunch, so he seems like a nice person. He doesn't lie to us, like at least not on purpose. You trust Anthony Medina? We we trust Anthony Medina. To like, we trust his intentions oh in the gosh. chat. When you get a break? Yeah. Just say happy birthday on camera for person with me. That's all. Oh, I can do it now. Just yeah. Give me a oh no, I'm saying yeah, we can do it whenever. Nineteen fifty nine S Morandi. I don't think you've been watching the stream then, because that's exactly what I've been doing <laughs> the entire time. Really, it's really strange that you have that take off for today. All I've been doing is talk about the hands. Weird. Besides, you know, talking about whatever I want, but I've predominantly just talked about the hands and nothing but. <laughs> Someone says important things, Annette Kincaid, Amanda, add dryer sheets to pockets, mosquitoes hate it, and every time I hear song of you play oh, with me. We don't have dryer sheets. I need to ask her. I could put those in my bathing suit. Yeah, and they hate that? Yeah, I guess so. That's awesome. They so smell strange. Really good. Rick Threat. I am a dual citizen. Canadian? I want to be a dual American. citizen. I'd rather be Canadian. She'd rather be Canadian, she said. Oh, go to Canada then. Ooh, yeah, right? <laughs> Get out of here, America. I have a Daniel, when did you win once? I never see you winning. What? No. Why? Wow, you never winning. It's listen, buddy. There's Hit thousands. Him off. Huh? Hit him off. 
Check my hand and mob dot com. Yeah. Okay. Hand and mob. Salut Daniel de la Brasov. Jeff Fudge, it's where my mom's from. Or was. From where? Brasov, Transylvania. Cool. Yeah, asking about whether I'm gonna out people who owe me money. And I decided not to. No, no, no. I should too. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. This is the regular. Oh. oh, hold on. So here's what she says. She says, this is the no sugar. This is the regular. Cool. And then she says, she said, this can look similar, but the one that says sin azucar is no sugar. She said, there used to be like this one in glass bottle, but not anymore. What? But I think the regular Coke has the same flavor than this one. No, I'll tell her. It's fine. She wants to. Mexico doesn't have Mexican Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna get blocked because you're just an idiot. Block you. Abster says, I love the BBs on GG Poker, but could you sometimes switch to regular stack for a few seconds? Sure. So here you can look at the full thing of the situation in the tournament. Here you can see we're at 73K still. But again, I, it's good for you guys to learn and train yourselves, and you can do this. You know, GG so, software helps you. Is just to think of big, think of your bets in big blinds, and don't think about the actual chip amounts. Like I don't even know what the blinds are right now. I have no idea. I mean, I just looked at it. What is it? Three and six hundred. No relevance to me, because all I care about is this number one, two, three, which is our stack, which is plenty. <laughs> I never see you win once. What? No. Why are you talking? You never win, why? I watch all the time, 3,000 people, you come, 50, 30. Huh? This is the right one, yeah. Right is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Andy Jackson, do I regret folding the nines now? No. No, I don't. I'm not going to just gamble and hope. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Not especially like actually reverse is true because notice he didn't value bet the jack in, this, in a tight spot all right so lucas greenwood is raising our blind we are going to call we flopped a three which is good enough to get us to the turn against his two big blind bet which he's going to come with right now go ahead and bet your two i could check raise this flop and i do that some of the time but in this case i'm going to just check call when he bets two you're gonna bet two, we all know it. Oh, you bet four, interesting, okay. Uh, that makes me more, like wanna check raise even more. I was gonna just call the two. But now, I think I'm going to check raise you. Let's go 11.5. Okay, you really betting four in this spot? You're betting like, just, oh, I will not be pushed around. Okay. Bye-bye. Show a three. Ha, 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 ha. I told you that was going to work. Bro, come on with these fucking sides. When you do these, how much do you put so one serving of these? Yeah, I don't even know. Just like a decent amount, whatever. Whatever you think. And I can always add more after. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the thing, Lucas. You know? Come on, bro. Uh -huh. I'm so good. All the freaking emojis.
Well, Lucas Greenwood, it was an interesting choice in sizing there. You decided to go four. Like, oh, I will not be pushed around. And then you got pushed around. Silly, silly. Just go normal. I told everybody you were going to bet two and you decided to bet four. You make me look stupid. Snap cam coming. I don't. Well, I make myself look stupid sometimes, but it should come through any moment now. There it is. Oh, I make myself look stupid. <laughs> oh, nothing. I love these snap cams. They're fun. You can talk shit to people. Come on, bro. Get that shit out of here. Come at me with the freaking four into six and a half on a king five three rainbow, bro. You trying to tell me that you balanced in that spot based on what I know about what I know and you don't know that I know that I'll show you that I can check raise you when you bet four. I ain't scared. You trying to define my range or some shit with the four? Ain't gonna work, bruh. Come at you with the check. Raise with the three. My wife thinks I'm crazy. Yeah. She thinks I'm nuts. She's like, what is wrong with you, bro? I'm just making sure I get this completely right. I know. I love you. Thank you. Malcolm S. I do not have three citizenships. I wasn't born in Romania. So I'm not a citizen there. 78K. Why do I fold so much? That's funny. JC says, Daniel, why do you fold so much? You take a look here. You see that number 28? That's my VPIP. Okay, that's the percentage of hands that I've played. Look around the table. This guy's played 19, 16, 8, 31, a little more than me, 28, 26, and then, of course, Yuri at 34. So now tell me you think I fold too much. I don't get it. I've played tied for the third most number of hands. So it's interesting that your eyes play tricks on you, right? You think I'm folding a lot, but then you look at the reality of it? Nope. Babe, do we have tomato paste? That was paste. Oh, no, that was sauce. No. Um, the sauce is in that uh, thing. Oh, you put all the Although that's the meal That's the bit? Yeah. What's the sauce? The sauce is, hold on. Well, just tell me, I'll get it. Yeah, it's in that little tub. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Can you just put that back in? Or? Yeah, whatever. And then if you need more, there's some in the pantry. Okay. Looks pretty similar. I know, right? Well, I don't even know what the difference is, really. I don't either. Why do you need both? I don't know, man. For taste, for whatever. Seems like it's the same thing, right? Huh? Yeah. exactly the same. Yep. Noglin says you need to practice your A to be Canadian. A? Eh? A? You know how they say A a lot? Yeah, you say it perfect. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. It's the same. Ben James lost his mind. Who? This guy Ben. He's doing the QAnon shit in my chat. I didn't even say anything political. Lucas Geldi, what do you think about Yuri? Here in Brazil, I consider him the best Brazilian player at the moment. I think that would be accurate. Uh, he's a beast. Played with him in the main event. He was messing with me. I was doing was complete control of the table until he showed up. And he started messing with me. Oh, I folded the King Jack notice. Ha, 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 ha. You don't want to play King Jack offsuit against an under-the-gun raise because it's not good. Tr trust in the DNA. Oh, this is easy. We'll be right back in. Hmm. That's awesome, babe. Some people.
Mike Ramon, how long have you been married to your great lady? Well, we got married in May of last year. Of last year. So we've been married a, a year and change. A year and three months. Fifteen months. Fifteen months. It's like a baby age. Fifteen months. Yeah, fifteen months. Yeah. My baby is two hundred months. You should ask people that. What's that? Do they say that? Do you? Say, what, what is the the maximum date you can keep saying months? Oh until? yeah, you know how people do that. They're like, oh, how old's your baby? And they're like, well, she's fourteen months. Like okay, okay, twenty three so months. Like what's the well, like when they're like seven years old? Do you say, oh, she's like eighty four months? Like 87 months. What's the peak? What's the path? I for me it's I don't know, but like a year and a half, and then two. I don't know. Like I say, a year and a half. Like a year and a half. That's uh, what 18 months. Yeah. So I think 15. I don't even say it. You don't even say it. No, I'm just like whatever. How how old is it? I call it it. <laughs> Good to hear Raul Rusi made the switch to big blinds. It makes it a lot easier on you, right? You can just sort of play the same poker game throughout. Only thing that changes is average stack gets smaller, which is exactly what's happening in the tournament. You don't have to think outside of half a big blind, one big blind. Raise sizes can just be the exact same number. You don't have to go 2,800, 3,400. <laughs> Yeah, the emojis are pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely the love love my wife more than the emojis, but you, it's, it's it's up there. Okay. Alright, we gotta block bro this guy. Why does a guy just write one word and it's the F word? Like in capital letters. Oh. No, that oh. word is fine. <laughs> the other word. Is he doing drugs now? Roid range turned to rap. If you guys only knew. Huh? Good reach. Alright, tofu. How much does this do we need? Decent amount. Oh, wait, there's a bag up there. Um, top right. Open? Yeah. Top right of uh, the door. Okay. Yeah. So you can use that. Glad you told me. Yeah. Do you yeah, it's, it's still got the water in it. Alfredo Enchuguesa Exposito. Daniel, don't you think that online poker has more catastrophic hands than in real life? Kind regards from London on Venezuelan. No, I don't, but here's what happens to your brain, okay? Say you're playing three or four tables at the same time and you're playing online. Well, each table is way faster than you're live and you're playing four of them. So you're like, oh my God, I've never seen quads in three times in an hour playing live. Live, you just played 30 hands. Online, you just played four tables of whatever. You've played 300 hands. So it's just a sheer numbers thing. You just play a lot more hands when you play online. So it has that feel to it. Or, you know, people get confused. Right, babe? Exactly. You play more hands. Yeah. She is making pasta, Rudy Bryant. It's funny you should say that. A little pasta, pasta, pasta. Pair of eights in the big blind. With these stacks the way they are, this is probably going to just be a call. I'm not gonna oh squeeze. Gosh, exactly. I love that. What, the amount? <laughs> you cut it and it was perfect amount? No, no, I have to add, I'm just saying. I like this. Oh. It's 194. Yeah. Sweet, all right, now flop an eight. Okay, not the worst flop in the world. Against one player, we can continue. Against two, we would get away. If it goes bet call, then we would fold the eights. But if it's just one bet on this flop from Lucas or from Vlachislav, then we would peel. Because when we call in the big blind, that has to freeze them a little bit. Like they know it's a hand. They don't know it's eights. They might think it's a seven. They might think it's a king, right? Like what else would I call with? But now that they've both checked, jack on the turn is another overcard the eight. Don't like that. Definitely worried about Vyacheslav. And this is a spot where now I fold. I would actually, I'm gonna fold. I would have called in the flop. But I'm gonna actually throw away the eights on the turn. 
I have a feeling Vyacheslav is not done with his hand just yet. The card seems like a meaty card for his range when he calls a raise on the button. And oh, wow, see ya. I'm out. This is not dinner time yet, Andrew Williams. It is, uh, I guess, a lunch. I mean, it's a vegan bolognese. It's like tofu, tomato paste. Yeah, this shit takes forever. Tomato. She's like, because I didn't help you with the setup. I'm sorry. Huh? Okay. Because I was, I had that call come in. I was gonna do it, but. Mm. Was there enough tomato paste in that thingy? Yeah. I mean, uh, not the in tomato sauce. Yeah. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. Tomato sauce. Sauce, the big one. Yeah. Yeah, I still have some left. Oh, wow. 18 months is the peak. That's what everyone says. Don't say 24 peak months. Of what? Well, how off? How long you can call a baby? Oh, okay. 24 months. It's like 18 months, like 19 months, two years is the max, 20 months. A year. Once they're over, everyone has a different opinion. Someone says, if you can buy a 4,000 watt petrol generator, then you can connect your computer and router. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I'm hoping it's just, well, if it's internet's down for a long time, then we'd have to. David G. Daniel, do you hate being called Danny? Yes. I do, actually. It's not my favorite. Danny. The only person who ever got away with that was Lane Flack. Yep. These waves, man. Wow. I've heard people try to do it. What's that? People call me Danny? Yeah. I've heard people try it. You kind of ignore them. Yeah, right? I'm like, who? That's like someone called me Mandy. I would never want that. Mandy? Ugh. Little, oh yeah, like Manda? Mandy? Mandy, yeah. right? And you can put the onions with it. Because okay. I like the onions a little more burnt anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They don't even get burnt. Yeah, sure. You, you go, girl. You put the oil in already? Yes. Barely any? Yeah, yeah it's like two milligrams or two grams. Bubba Watkins, do you recommend playing poker from the beginning or late regging? I think it's better to jump in right off the bat unless you know you feel like it's a waste of your time. Depends on the structure too, of course. But for me, the biggest edge is uh, Nicholas Clark. I am with GG Poker. That is ggpoker.com. $25 million guaranteed event is what we're playing now. The biggest, largest, most amazing guarantee of all time in poker and in the internet. It's insane. Crazy. $25 million. We got here in this heat, we have 97 starters. And we are sitting 23 of those of 77 left on a stack of 75K. Just hanging tough, doing our thing. Into level five, 30 minute levels. Slow and steady wins the race. Take a look at the stacks. We're going to still come with two and a half. Two and a half with the queen jack. All right, against my better judgment, I'm going to bet this one against Mad, Mad Doc. Go away, Mad Doc. Just go away. Go away, bro. I mean, I can't fight you with this one. Mm -hmm. Talking to Mad Doc. Guy at the table. All right, Mad Doc. You're just going to take this away from me, aren't you? I'm not robbing you. Nope. Just 
took my one stab and now and you're peeling with some stupid ace high maybe still gonna still got me beat I, mean, I don't beat much here okay buddy easy game Maddox you take the money ace on the river mmm smells so good Smells good. Still tofu juice the Oh, it's just water. <laughs> tofu juice. Tofu juice, yeah. Harry Kinnar says, don't you get sick of eating tasteless foods like pasta and rice cakes? I mean, you don't know the fuck all of what I eat. I mean, you're just so wrong. I mean, you think fruit and nut, peanut butter and oatmeal and like pancakes and uh, also, I mean, Mongolian beef, seitan, and rice, like, tastes fucking amazing. What do you usually cook this on? Medium. Okay, yeah. Make it sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tasteless food. Like, you, you know you eat food that I eat, and it's yum. Like, what, you never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Is that gross to you? It doesn't taste good? I can have chocolate, I, you know, all the kinds of things. I mean, there's nothing really that I... What do you think, like... Well, I won't go into it. But you know, I don't get sick of eating like awesome, tasty food every day. Making cookies, muffins. I had freaking Oreos earlier and a banana smoothie this morning. Guys, clueless, yo. Don't you get tired of eating like absolute dog shit food? Duh. Don't you get tired of being an internet troll trying to get a reaction? All right, I'm going to go ahead and limp this one. Tricky, tricky. Oh, shit. What happened to the software? What happened? Uh-oh. Something just froze. All right, what happened now? Something's going wrong. Not good. The clock is ticking. My internet seems fine, so it could be just an issue with the software right now. Hmm. Well, oh, now the clock stopped. Okay. Uh, let's find out. Oh, retry. I got disconnected from the server. What the hell's going on? What? I got disconnected? That's never happened on here before. Connection to servers unstable. All right, well, I probably had to fold that hand. So it is my internet. Okay, let's see. Let's reconnect. Trying to connect. This has never happened. What's wrong? Disconnected. Oh, it's coming back. life. So we had to, so that ace-10 of spades hand, what happened there? Let's check and see. Mm -hmm. Just to say how long to click before you add stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm just, just going to do it. Right? Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, so... Weird. Had a uh, disconnect there. I don't know if I lost the stream, but we'll find out in a minute. I think you're still with me. Just had a disconnect to the server. Hmm. All right, that cost us one hand, ace, ten of spades, under the gun. Notice how much more calm I am now. Mm, zen. <laughs> Restream chat is back. There we go. All right, 
ace queen. Hmm. Rob Sapista, not going to ask again. Habs or Flyers? I mean, Flyers, but I don't know. I'm not betting that one. Ace Queen in position against a very aggressive player. You're going to make it nine on the button. Notice Lucas is playing 36% of the hands. So the fact that he's under the gun plus one isn't as scary as it would be if it came from Oyster, who's eight, right? I'm going to fold this ace 10. Uh, I think, let me see. Yeah, this is really kind of on the tight side. I could certainly call or three bet with this hand, but I decided to play a little nitty, especially because, like, if you see Vlasislav also is at 34%, and he's in later position. But obviously, ace queen's a much better hand than ace 10. Now I feel good about it with Reg Hunter re raising. Positive Million wants to know, we've traveled so many places, love. Is there a place that you and I want to go that we haven't been? Fiji. Fiji. Yeah, we were there in the airport. Yeah, we want to go, like, I want to go here. Yeah, beautiful green. Remember all these greens? So gorgeous. Yeah, it's like such a great, beautiful, cult, you know, color green. It's like, hard to even explain. Either one. They're all kind of slightly different sizes, but. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, everyone's like, rage, rage. I didn't rage. Five I'm just trying to see what 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 would have came, because now I have the like the other laptop up. I'm gonna see what what would have came when I had the Ace Ten of Spades. Is this the hand? No. No, how is pasta tasteless? Like, what is this guy talking about? What do you, what do you like a guy said pasta is tasteless? Like, what do you think is grilled chicken? What does that have? It's just ba basically a thing until you flavor it and season it. You know? The guy's like, he said pasta is tasteless. <laughs> like, it's so awesome. yum. Pasta is awesome. All right, ace 10 suited. No. Definitely want to ask her for candles. Okay. Are you almost done? Okay, this is regular. Yep. Okay, Coca Cola Classic. I guess that's what you're going to get. Check. 
All right, we got king four spades against pretty needy player. I'm going to go ahead and just call here and hit the king on the turn like we planned. If he bets here, I mean, yeah, obviously we're happy to have kings in a flush draw, but we're not that excited because Oyster's playing pretty snug. And he did raise pretty early. Doesn't mean we're folding under any circumstance. So now we got a fire. 7 point, no, 6.8. 6.8. Let's do 6.8, bruh. Mm -hmm. He folded. All right, I'll take it. That's an, I don't think he was betting that river if we checked when he checks back the king on the turn. People in the, whenever something happens, people in the chat, they all say the exact same thing 8,500 times in a row. <laughs> frozen, 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 frozen. Is he stupid or is he high? Well, I'm not high. So. Thanks, we're about done. Thanks, honey. Something yeah. never looks like super cooked to me. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to put in a lot of oil or bake it or put it in for like a really long time. I hope it's in it. Like no, but it, on that dish, it's not supposed to be. Okay, like a. Uh, like yep, yep. Pasta, tomato, tomato, tomato. Una Coca-Cola cero. No, sin azúcar. No azúcar aquí. No calorías. Nada. Sí. Muy bien para mí. No problema. Mm. Just London. Kashan Harris says he doesn't care about us on Facebook. Well, guess what? I do. I do. I, do. I absolutely do. Yeah, to me, it's uh, not an issue how you uh, choose to watch the stream. Not only that you do, and that you uh, do so with uh, kindness in mind. Just like that. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. It's good. Want to kiss? That's great. I hope it's good. Oh, it looks great. It looks hot. I'm gonna wait. Super hot. So I don't burn my tongue. See the steam coming off it. Look at that. Big bowl of pasta. Pasta, pasta para mí, pasta para mí, en España. ¿Te hay pasta en España? ¿En México? You know what's good with pasta? A little bit of wine. I'm not going to do any wine today. But we do sometimes at dinner, you know? A little white wine with my pasta. No, 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 I'm good. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Nice, babe. Mm-hmm. Why, did you put dirty ones in? No, I just was going to. Mm. Eight, ten suited. Off two and a half bigs, this deep. Against a very loose player. Uh, this is close. I'm gonna lay this one down. That one's close. I probably should call. Yeah.
Hmm. Jay Lond, Kishan Harrison wants his money back. The cards are not showing. All right, you'll get a refund on exactly what you paid. Nada. Oh yeah, it's actually perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. What's that? Oh, I can put him back, babe. You don't have to do it. Oh my God, so many dumb people just keep saying, it's frozen. I'm like, you know, if you're looking at the chat, 55 people just said that to you. Give it a minute. Chillax. All right, what do we got here? Against Yuri. Flat this one. Oh, I only got three seconds plus. Oh, God, I wasted all my time bank on that hand. Hmm. I could have three bet old Yuri. Back one time. Let's see what's going on over there. He doesn't really look at Twitter chat. It says ten fifty nine. Everyone's so like butthurt about the format that they watch. You know, like, he doesn't really pay enough attention to me. <laughs> Queen. I guess if I three bet, I would have won. Occasionally I drink these Coke Zeros. No calorie, yummy. Not a big deal. Did I just leave? What happened? I'm watching myself five minutes in the past, waiting to see when the stream will work. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, my, my throat, my, ah, I get it. The window capture is frozen. Stupid. All right, let's go here. Hold on. Ha! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Are you an idiot? Yeah. Because it's still capturing the wrong. There we go. Ha! Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oops. <laughs> I'm so dumb. You're not dumb. No, but when people are complaining it's frozen, and then I look up at the OBS, I'm like, oh shit. It's not. Okay. So they could hear me, but not see me. See me. Hmm. I got it. Yeah, I just hit it. I, uh, I, I just, it was the, fr I didn't even realize it, but yeah, the fro thing was frozen and I, I got it working again. Yeah, basically, I didn't even realize. I, w I didn't look at the OBS screen to see that it was still stuck on uh, the frozen one. So I went back in, and now I see the correct thing. So those viewing just need to wait four minutes and stop acting like jerks. Frozen, 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 blah, blah. But actually, in this case, it helped. In this case, it helped because I, I was like, what are they talking about? Because I was like, wow, it seems like it's been longer than five minutes, and I've been fine. So we should be good. Yeah, thanks, bud.
Oh, big break time. Be right back, y'all. Be here. Hey, you put the glass pan under here or there? Just glass. Under the uh, under stove. Here. Under the oven. That's very sweet of you. <sighs> People still shit in their bricks. This is peculiar. Arch, you know, he doesn't really pay enough attention to me. <laughs> well, that's so stuff. Oh, this is on seven minute delay, that's why. Uh, occasionally I drink these Coke Zeros. Yeah. 
no calories. I'm just listening to myself five minutes in the Not a big deal. I'm watching myself five minutes in the past. Oh, I see what's going on. Ha. My, my fro, my, oh, I did it. The window capture is frozen. Stupid. What's that? That was a long time where people were pissed. <laughs> And we're back. Okay. I told you guys I'm not the tech savvy genius, and I, you know, but luckily we we got we got we were okay. Had a couple issues today, but we work it out. Thank you, Christian. Okay, what do we got here? Button raise, queen five. I can defend this, but I'm not going to. Against a good player in a tournament. I may play a little more snug in some of those spots with a hand like queen five off. A seven. Sitting on 75k. Solid. Level six we're into. Gonna go ahead and we limp here again with almost our entire range and certainly a seven falls into our entire range. Fold a few hands, not too many. We get a raise from Reg Hunter. Let's see who this guy is. We're just going to call. Mm -hmm. It's an okay flop. I mean, not, not the worst flop in the world. Not great. That's a good turn card for us. And for a couple reasons. 3.5. We might have, we probably have the best hand. If not, it's very easiest for us to represent stuff that's on this board. We have a gut shot. I have ace high. I mean, if he just has like ace nine, or he's, he's got a tough, tough call here on the turn. Because I would bet pretty much any pair in this spot. All right, show, nah, show nothing. Show nothing, just take the money. Nada, you can watch my stream and find out. She's gonna get you those, I think. Let me show you. I'm gonna send you the link, see if these are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is the one, right? Yeah. That should be it, right? Yeah, Classic. I mean, it's not going to be... It'll be like we get at home. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh! No, that's Sansuk. That's the one that I do. Sing means no. Nothing. No, no. Yeah, no. That's like the, the zeros. Okay. Love you, good luck. Love you, babe. Relax. Enjoy the day. Yeah. And I will see you later. For who? You. Nah. I'm gonna probably eat after the stream's over, a little late tonight. Oh, that's a fun one, the Mongolian seitan yeah. and rice, Asian style. All good now, everybody? Abster says, Daniel, do you follow no Lewis Hamilton? He's one of the biggest athletes. So oh, I thought you were talking to somebody else in Europe. I spoke to him. He's in amazing shape. I know who it is. I don't know him personally. But I do know that he's a vegan race car driver. We all know each other. <laughs> like, or we know of each other. Yuri raising in the cutoff. He's down to 20% pens played. I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm going to get a lot of credit for this one. 5.9. This I'm just expecting him to be opening pretty wide here. So we're going to turn this queen 10 offsuit into a little bit of a bluff. Playing against Yuri. Playing against my image a little bit. You know we don't 3-bet that often. So when we do it should work. I mean he's going to give me a really strong range here. So, I mean, if he has it, he has it. He's just going to shove and we fold. Big deal. All right, he's calling. All right, that's decent. <laughs> oh, boy. That 
it's a decent flop. It's, it's pretty sick. We've done that twice now. Three bet seven nine straight. Three bet the uh, queen ten straight. You're betting four point seven. All right, we can just call. Okay, now we can get it in on the turn. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "What the hell, Dean Eggs? You three bet me with the queen ten? Yuri, all right. I guess I'm gonna call you since I have the nuts. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "What? He has a flush draw now. Oh my god, that'll be ugly." Unbelievable! What? Fucking unbelievable! Jack nine eight flop. I have queen ten against six five. He had spade spade for a flush. Son of a bitch. Fuck. If I would have just raised the flop, I would have took it, but I got it in better on the turn. All right, Yuri. That one pissed me off. It really pissed me off. I'm very angry, right? I three bet you with queen 10 off suit, and then I flop that and somehow find a way to lose. Ah! Ah! Sick. Damn, bro. All right. Son of a bitch. I feel like Phil Helmy is going, honey, honey, you see what he did? <sighs> we were absolutely on the right track with everything we did. No. No, I still have a uh, starting stack. I just lost my profit. All right, this dude's for three betting me to 5.7. We will peel with the king, queen of spades and fold this flop. Son of a fuck, man. Fucking joke, fucking joke, 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 spade hit. I mean, how do you feel like you can't even lose when it comes jack, nine, eight, and then a three on the turn? I'm like, all right, well, he's drawing dead. Maybe to a split. Leading at the flop, I got him right where I want him. Got him jamming the turn. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay, vai caramba! Shit. <laughs> All right, we're still doing fine. We have a starting stack, 46K, if you know, that's what we started with, it's fine. It's just frustrating, because we would have had a whole lot more. We would have had 100 and something, but long way to go yet. Everything we did, the hand, that hand, everything that we, just uh, everything, every part of my strategy on that one was good, except for not fading the spade on the river. That's where I made the mistake. <laughs> Damn. I guess he thought he needed a seven or a spade. He did not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and 3.5 it. Come on, Yuri, let's go, let's dance. You know, I'm gonna just sort of answer this question, but not really, because you guys are a bunch of ass hats. But uh, someone asked the question or said something like, uh, hold on, eh, I'm not even gonna bother, Never mind." Okay, I can fold this one. Huh. Yeah. Damn that hand. <laughs> Andrew Garb Andrew Gerber is asking if we'll adopt him. He's forty years old. I think we're gonna go a little younger.
That would stung. But such is life. The good news is, still got this bullet. Aum, got to deal with it. Let the freaking frustration come out. And move on. Sanjay Singh, Oreo cookies, vegan. Yep. All right, we got Ace Jack of Spades. I'm going to get three bet this, but I'm going to flat. Mixed strategy between calling and three betting. Folding is not an option. Yuri comes with five, six. Makes a flush. You can see I'm not over it yet, right? <laughs> All right, Mad Dog Wacko. He plays crazy. We can't fold against him, especially for, like, look at this, min re-raise. Oh, we've totally whiffed. We have a three-card straight, three-card flush. I'm playing against a random button clicker right now. I'm going to check back, take the free card ourselves. We hit the jack. Hopefully it goes checked. Oh, my God. Maybe he has ace jack also, or three kings. I want to hit my best card, kind of, so I'm going to call. Oh, Jesus, what a card. That should help us get away, I guess. A few bets here. Oh, man, maybe we should bluff him. I don't make a habit of based on the profile I have of Maddock. I don't think trying to bluff him is the best approach. Could work, but I'm going to pussy out. Check. Oh, aces. God, that might have worked against him. Who knows though, bro? I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe on that spot I should have just fucking ripped it. I had some showdown value, right? We did have a jack with an ace. Yeah, I'm supposed to bluff there. Normally, that's a bluff against, like, if it was against a top player, I would have bluffed that river. But against Mad Dog, with all the info I have on him, it just felt too risky. To risk our 50 big blinds, which is in danger now in terms of... I'm so steamed about that fucking hand still. I'm watching it now. <laughs> Black 9, 8 flop. I have queen 10 against 6, 5. <laughs> it's spade, spade for flush. Son of a bitch. If I would have just raised the flop, I would have took it, but I got it in better on the turn. All right, Yuri, that one pissed me off. It really pissed me off. I'm very angry, right? I three bet you with queen 10 off suit, and then I flop that. And it's... <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hmm. We were cruising pretty good. We gotta move past it and start just focusing up. <clears throat> Come smell my tanked up. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate the way he played the hand. You know, Yuri did with the 5 6. But I uh, just wish he didn't hit the spade. Six can fold. All right, thirty-five. Okay, still got plenty of. We just gotta read. We gotta really get back in the head. I'm <clears throat> gonna do a little three deep breaths. Just go. Gustrava. <laughs> Out. 
Someone said, how do you know they're not stream striping? Well, if they were stream striping and I had fought the nuts, they probably wouldn't have bet and jammed the turn <laughs> when I have the nuts. Also, we're on a delay, which is kind of relevant. <laughs> All right, and yeah, we good. Six five suited. We can min raise this one. Sitting on fifty. Nobody's all that short. See that little blue sphere? That means we're cold. Running cold. Over there, Yuri is his fireball because he's running hot. It's very hot over there. His JPC. All right, Maddock. Swing and a miss for old Dean Eggs on this flop. If he checks, we'd like to see the three or the four of hearts, and maybe we can get a little frisky. But for a half pot bet, we can fold and take a look for free. Four and a ten. Okay. Do, do, do. Things fun to hit. Yeah, this is like when I'm steaming or whatever. My wife got me these. It's called a uh, super speed. What the hell? I can't even speed something. So these are. It's got like see, there's no club on the end. But there's three different type. Three different shafts I got. Move this over. Three different shafts. Green, super light, and the other two are heavier. So oh man, this is in the way stuff. So I don't, I'm not going to do it here because there's no room. But basically, there's like a routine you do. It's supposed to help your swing speed. Take these babies right here, and then you swing it. Oh, I can't move. I don't have enough room. Then you uh, do it with a light club and like a slightly light club, and then you go with a heavy club. It's a little bit heavier than a normal club. Three swings each side. So you swing this way, and then you swing this way, which is weird because I'm like, I swing this way, and then learning how to go the other way is... Awkward, but I got used to it. It's supposed to be good to keep your body balanced. So you got a uh, even Steven. I took my swings this morning. Basically, like I said, so you do as you do like three each side, as fast as you can. Then you do. Let's see what I got here. King Jack. Then you do what you'll do. Put your feet together. You go like this, and then you, like that, you walk into it three ways. You do each three club, both sides, and then you do three with the light club as fast as you can, just to finish it. All right, we're gonna call you with the king jack. And we're gonna call you on this flop as well. TV says you really love yourself. That is true, I do. Very much, actually. I hope you love yourself as much as I love myself. Okay, I'm gonna check again on over to my buddy, JPC123. Can't swing in here. Next break, I'm gonna go get some steam out and just swing these as hard as I can. All right, buddy. I will let you have it. 10 on the river. No help for old Dean Eggs. Did you show something? Nope. King 10 suited. Okay. Let's see what happens with this one. All right. I'm flat this one in the small. Take a flop.
Why can't I find this on the WSOP event page? Because it's the, oh shit, fucking Reg Hunter 3 bet. That's annoying. We would have missed. Yeah, this is a, the phase. So the actual event, day two, would be listed. Jack 10 suited. All right. Just getting like a decent hand every time. Still deep enough where we can see a flop with the Jack 10 suited on the button. Okay, we flop nothing, but we've got three cards straight, three card flush, and a couple over cards. This could be a decent float spot if the bet is two, two and a half. If it goes bigger, we'd have to fold. We do have to worry about Maddock, who has check raised a few spots already. What do you got, 5.3? That's what I was worried about. Okay. Good job on the sizing there, JPC. I would have called a small bet. I mean, not that that's... Maybe you wanted me to call it. I don't know. All right. I'm getting to the nitty-gritty now. Getting the steam up. 34 bigs. Wow. These waves, bro. If you could see the waves right now, you'd be scared. I mean, we're so close to, the, like, the beach is right here that if we do have a hurricane, it doesn't seem all that out of balance for it to, like, just the wave to just go right over this house. COVID idiot says, why do you play with big blinds and not with stacks? It's harder to watch. How is it harder to watch? Like, I'd love to hear your logic on what is harder to see about a simplified number of bets rather than numbers. So just, okay, how about this for you? Just pretend that it's instead of 33.9, it's 33,900,000 for you. 33 billion, whatever. If that makes you feel more better. 33, that's what we got. 33,900,000,000 instead of just 33.9. Simpler, easier. You'll get used to it. You just you just haven't seen it before, likely. So, Matthew Sweetman, you got to give me your name, bro, for your Romanian fiance. Yeah, I don't have her name. Reminder: there is no re-entry in these heats, but you get three bullets total. This is our first shot right here. And if not, we would likely try again on Friday, I think. Try to pick a day that, you know, there's no other events going on. Jack 8. David Fry, that wasn't my actual grip. I was just holding the club, and that's like I used to like it. But I know, I'll get the hand over. I got it. I got, Christian's also my golf guy, so my grip is good. Don't worry. Someone says, please freeze your camera again. This is awful. Stop spewing. You think I'm spewing, Hot Rodder? There's nothing spewy about any of the plays that I made, bro. 9-7 suited. Sitting on 32 big blinds. Average is a lot more than that. 25K. Average is 70 right now. We will take a flop to 9-7 of clubs. We flopped a gutter ball and a backdoor flush draw and enough to call, well, pretty much, I would call decent, I would call two-thirds in this spot, too. Uh, 
All right, I had a feeling he might do that too. All right, I will call Vyacheslav. Four in the turn. Double bet, over bet, pot. Okay, phew. Show him a seven. Phew. All right, we did a little bluff ski, double bet, pot. Like when he checks back that turn, right? Like our range has all the seven eights and straights and two pairs and stuff like that. His really doesn't. So that worked out. Phew. Big bluff. Big bluff for us. Keep us alive. Back to 40 big blinds. 32K. A little less than half the average. Level 7. So we're about halfway through the day. It's funny how people think I fold a lot when my fucking VPIP is 30. I read the chat and be like, oh, Dan just folds all the time. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's like so it's so amazing how people can see one thing and it's like completely the opposite of what they think right oh he plays too tight I played 30 VPIP it's so weird how people get there in their brain queen three Worldwide hip hop, you should see the waves now, bro. Cindy Donovan, when you rabbit hunt, does everyone on the table see the cards or just the player that hunted? Only the player that hunted. So basically the only person that can rabbit hunt is the last person in the hand who folded. So if it's heads up, the guy bets, I fold, I get to see it. If it goes bet, two people fold, the last person has a chance to rabbit hunt. Jamie Taylor wants me to film the waves on my phone. Oh, you can, you've seen them in my vlog, but they're big right now. All right, we're going to play this one. Point nine. Let's go, Yuri. Let's do it again. Let's go. Gamble. Gamble. If you have ace king, let's go. I don't I want to gamble. I'm ready. I'm ready. Steamed up. Ready to do it. Oh, you fold it. Okay, I have a feeling you might fold there. It's all good. We'll take it right there. That way you can't make any flushes. All right, good news is, you know, we've been playing a lot of tournaments where the average stack is like sitting on 15, 20 big blinds most of the way. So despite us not doing so hot right now, we're still on 44, which is good. It is the main event, so you want to continue to build, but. Liliana, Matthew Aziz, Kajel Vrasov, Spune Ceva. Frumos pentru tine și să spui te iubesc foarte mult. Asta a zis Matthew la mine. Te iubesc foarte mult. Ești foarte frumos. Ok? There you go. Wow. Kyle Jan, can't the other people at the table just watch the stream? Yeah. I'm sure they are. Issue is... We're on a delay, seven minutes. <laughs> Have I ever played with a PGA Tour Pro? Henrik Sundquist says, I've played, we played a match against Scott Piercy. Uh, me and the boys, we beat him. 
because you're getting good handicap. David Fry. You don't know that I have a guy, like full-time hired, who works with me. I haven't played much golf of late, but like my short game is solid. I just haven't played, you know? But if I play, I'll be a single-digit handicap. If I just played for a month straight or two months straight. So uh, thanks, but no thanks. I have a guy. He is a scratch. He knows what he's doing. He sees my grip. He knows when it's good, when it's not. Like I said, when I'm loosey-goosey holding the club, I'm not like doing my actual grip. When I do do my grip, I think about it. Let's see what we got here. Retweet something. Who do I have? Kings? Oh, of course I have kings. Because there's an ace on the floor. Obviously. Naturally. Oyster. Oyster bets. I'm folding. I'm just going to check fold against oyster. Oyster don't mess around. All right. See, I'm not folding now. You know why? Because I've got three kings. Now we're going to bet 2.8. Three kings. Come on, JPC, see something? Have a set. Have something. Just fuck with me. All right, whatever. Good thing nobody bet the flop. Nobody had an ace. Kings were good. A6 of spades this time. Let's come in there with a... Barry Gallagher, never in a million years. If it, it would be impossible, Barry Gallagher, for me to ever do that. I'm going to fold this one here in the early position. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter who the other person is, as far as my vote goes. That person would get my vote. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't come up with somebody. So there you go. So definitely a no. Shit picture in the back. It's not my picture. You don't like it the art of the house here. You're just offending the people who own the house. Not me. Good friend, is the 27 of 70 your placement has not changed in a while? Yeah, it was supposed to change. Yeah, it's probably off. Sometimes that happens. Got to reset the thing. Yeah, it's off. I am not nearly that high. I am actually 58th out of 70-something. Oh, man, look at that flop. Jesus. If Yuri didn't play, I was going to open. Yuri opened, I folded. And then he would have hit the gin flop. Got Yuri firing. Yeah, I'm a nit. I got 32% freaking VPIP, and I'm a nit. You guys are just stupid. Like, you're just not intelligent for thinking that. It's You can think what you want, but Jesus. It's like, okay... Two plus two is four. Nope. I don't. I can see that that that's accurate. There's two things here. Two things here. It makes four. But I don't agree. I don't agree that it's four. It's not four. Okay. That's essentially what you're doing. <laughs> two plus two is four, and you're telling me it's not four. Your butt. Tidor Petkov, how many rabbit hunts do you get? You, you can rabbit hunt every time. There's no like set number. You always get the rabbit hunt if you're the last person to fold. All right, squeeze it easy. Little ace king action. I'm gonna go ahead and min raise it. Reg Hunters re-raising. That's a early position to be doing that with a very small V-pip. I feel like gambling. This is a rebuy event. Re-entry. We've got a couple re-entries left. Uh, let's just ship it. We got queens. We'll race. If you got aces or kings, we're dead. Oh, you do. Huh? You got the same hand. Queens. Okay. So let's race then for all of it. All right. Need a couple diamonds. An ace or a king. Okay, it'll have to be an ace or a king now. Okay, could be an ace. Nope, dead. Ah, fuck off. What a bullshit fucking day we had in this tournament. 
All right, that's that. That's the end of the stream. Finish 71st in that one. What a tilting day. Really just started with that hand when we flopped the queen 10, flopped the joint. Went downhill from there, and we lost the key flip. Obviously, if I win that flip, I got, uh, you know, average stack. Yep, you know, I don't have to rip the ace-king there, but because, you know, this, I'm trying to win this thing, it's a re-entry, it's not wrong, it's not bad, especially with my stack size, but I, if that was my, like, last shot, my last, you know, bullet, I would have just flatted with the ace-king probably and seen the flop, and then I would have probably peeled on the flop because we had the ace of diamonds, and then uh, maybe fold the turn, depending on sizing, probably. That's it. We busted in level seven. After starting off so well, making some big calls, I thought we played really well. I mean, the Queen 10 was it. That was the one. All right, so tomorrow then, we play, I don't know what the hell, some small dinky rinky dink. Let me see. Let me go. Let me go check. Let me go check in the GG software. Let's see here. GG. Okay, let's go see what's tomorrow. Tomorrow is, oh, there's a couple. So let's see, Raptors won by 24. All right, today is the 17th, tomorrow's the 18th. So it's a $600 No Limit Hold'em deep, deep Stack Championship, as well as a couple flights of the Big 50, which I can jump into. So that'll be my day tomorrow. We'll probably stream at some point, maybe around the same time. Until then, y'all, Dean Egg's steaming. That's just life. This is where I click the end stream button. Say goodnight, everybody. Have a good one. I'm going to go smash.